This YouTuber isn't sure if deep web mystery boxes are real or not, so he buys as many of them as he can as an experiment of sorts. Sure enough, some of them don't have anything weird inside at all, while others look as though they were packaged by a complete psycho. Take this dirty stuffed animal that's been stuffed with even dirtier stuffed animals for instance. In the very last one is a pill container, presumably for smuggling purposes. The creepiest package of all is full of abused dolls. It looks like it was made by someone with serious problems. You can see how they cut off the doll's fingers one by one here. Then they made this children's pop-up book filled with occult symbiology. Ow. Mm -hmm. oh, no, no. Then they are about to throw the whole box away when suddenly a yellow Teletubby doll with a burnt face grabs their attention. Listen to the sound it makes and tell me how this noise is even possible. At this point, he's seen enough and decides not to open any more boxes. The only problem is at least several more are heading to his address in the mail. As it turns out, nostalgia isn't always a good thing. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Hey There, You Are Okay, the Redditor explains, So I was going through my old 3DS photos for nostalgia. The reason why I'm posting on this sub is because I'm not for sure if I caught anything in the background. Do you think it's younger me being scared? The video clip shows an empty bedroom. As he starts to scan the room, the video captures a dark room beyond. It's hard to tell if there's a window in that room. However, something appears to move there, or at least a shadow is cast that mimics movements. The camera passes upward to the ceiling, and when it returns to the closet, the shadow and light has changed a bit. But it's the next time the camera pans from one side to the other that the real change occurs. Explain these unknowable shadows. What is going on here? Is there something or someone in that room? No wonder the Redditor was freaked out. This not-so-smart intruder's attempted entering was thwarted by a much smarter doorbell. When this stranger attempted to break into this home in Sydney Hills District, where a woman and her child were alone inside, the man is captured on several security cameras, staking out the premises, ringing the doorbell and waiting, before peering into the windows and trying the door handle several times. Hello? Hello? When the homeowner finally responds to the man's attempted break-in via the ring doorbell, the homeowner's voice obviously scares the man, who quickly rushes off apologizing and claiming he had the wrong house. There's nothing better than outsmarting an intruder. Hopefully, he didn't try again later. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny returns to a haunted chapel that has given him a bad feeling in the past. He is taking another look around when he detects shuffling in the next room over. What the was that? When he goes to check out the next room, it proves to be just as empty as the first. He doesn't see anything unusual and soon begins to record various plaques on the wall out of interest. Danny is looking over the names of soldiers when he casually sees something paranormal sticking out from behind a doorway. Ah! Oh my God! The scream in his throat sounds very real as he turns to find the unmistakable outline of a nun's head staring through him. It happens very quickly and it's hard to tell if it really is a ghost or not. Before you say fake though, first hear me out. The nun sighting happens at approximately 2 minutes into the video. Yet here you can see the doorway is completely empty at 1 minute 45 seconds, a full 15 seconds prior. The video appears to be taken in one continuous take with no editing. Therefore, I believe there is a strong possibility that this sighting is real. When YouTube personalities are filming, they often capture the unexpected in their footage, and sometimes they capture the paranormal. Marissa Rochelle published this video in August of 2016. Marissa explains that when she was filming a back-to-school video, when she left her camera rolling and left the room, she turned off some of the lights but left one light on and was gone for around two to three minutes. When she returned, the only thing slightly out of the ordinary 
was that Marissa noticed her camera had tilted downward. Still, this wasn't that unusual, because the heavy camera often tilts on its tripod. She continued filming. It wasn't until Marissa watched back the footage that she saw this nightmarish hand. Her sister Shauna was editing the film when she called Marissa over to take a look at this creepiness she spotted on camera. When she gets up to go retrieve the prize, you can hear the door close as she leaves the room. And I did keep one light on just so that I would be able to find my way back in the dark. After two minutes of radio silence, you can see the camera slowly falling downward. As the shot falls below her bed, something to the left beneath her bed moves quickly out of the shot. Marissa says it looks like a child's hand. Shauna and Marissa search beneath the bed to see if there was anything there that might move like this, but they came up short. A child ghost, a doll come to life. What's beneath Marissa's bed? Whatever it may be, my guess is that it's very nefarious. Exorcist Pierre Dulong is a trusted member of French society. In this video clip, a 19-year-old hairdresser is seen being exorcised of a demon. <laughs> This took place in Gers, began with a pendulum stroke, through which Dulong detected the woman's possession. She screamed, growled, grunted, spit, convulsed, and foamed at the mouth. She also spoke in Spanish, not her mother tongue. Her eyes rolled back in her head as she shook and convulsed. Although the demon fought it the whole way, in the end, the good one. The woman finished with a calm smile and feeling at ease, but sometimes even Dulong can't rid a person of this. He says honesty is the foundation of his reputation, admitting, when I cannot do anything, I announce it right away. Hopefully for the sake of the possessed, this is rarely the case. A YouTuber named Nerdy Gamer records someone standing outside of his San Antonio home in a clown outfit with a bright red balloon. He opens the door and the two share a tense stare down before exchanging words. The stranger does not respond to warnings or even flat out threats. However, they do shuffle around for a bit each time after he speaks, which shows that they are at least contemplating what he says. Creeping right there by my driveway, just staring there. He's been there for about 15 minutes. Yeah, you need to leave, yo. I already caught the cops. Yo, you need to leave. I'm being dead serious. I will you. Finally, he grows tired of the one-sided exchange and waits for police. No follow-up was recorded after this part. So was this a skit, or did a silent clown really come bother a YouTuber at his own home? This Dog Knows What's Up, published by Ghost Hunting Unique 0.4 in April of 2022. This dog is seen staring down the road. He then runs away without explanation. That's when this figure appears suddenly in the middle of the road. The figure later vanishes. But then this weirdo pops up, scaring a passerby. It's unclear what he wants, but he too vanishes after a moment. Later, another figure disappears as he's crossing the street. Is this just a road of no return? The Bermuda Triangle of Pavement? Or is something else going on here? A disturbing shadow is settling over this room. Posted to the ghost subreddit, Kenton Bryant Music writes, My buddy had his motion sensor go off for this. It never goes off unless his dog walks in front of the camera. The only problem? The dog was locked in the bedroom at the time. This was captured on his friend's wise security camera in February of 2020. The video shows a darkened room with a light source at one end. A dark shadow sweeps into view, covering the light source briefly before disappearing from sight. The strangest part about this is that the shadow seems not to touch the ground. Is it flying? Redditor Gucci the God says that it could be lights from a passing car, coupled with the low light capture of the camera. But the OP nixes this idea, saying there's no window there and the driveway is private. 
Some in the comments think this is legit paranormal footage. This really looks like a shadow figure to me. What do you think? Any other explanations? These underground tunnels in Manchester, England were once used to escape air raids in the 1940s. Countless people huddled for their lives down here in mass, and their collective fear is thought to have left a haunting impression ever since. Now a YouTube channel called Dark Arts TV investigates these tunnels to see what he can discover with his own eyes. It isn't long before his blue light shines upon a real thin figure standing at a bizarre angle. Angle. They are a good distance away, but it looks like they might be wearing baggy trousers and a vest with oversized sleeves, reminiscent of the 40s era. If this is not a ghost to you, then what do you think this is? As he turns the corner, his camera picks up what appears to be a pair of human legs hanging out a small hole in the wall. <laughs> What's most terrifying is how Dark Arts TV doesn't seem to notice the legs at the time, as if they weren't visible in real life. And to further back this theory, when you pause at 24 minutes and 28 seconds, the beam of his flashlight seems to move through them. Finally, as they prepare to leave, they encounter this shadowy face directly behind them. It doesn't look like a person per se, but rather the fading memory of someone who was present, now doomed to repeat a terrifying moment forever. Eyebrows, a hairline, the chin, you can even see at the bottom here, if you can just catch the end of my thumb where I'm covering now, there you can see the line of his neck as his head is bent round the corner. TF141 Ghost goes exploring an abandoned house, one he found on a secret blog about haunted locations in his hometown. He walks slowly across a rotting floor that can barely support his weight, and apparently the floor isn't the only thing left rotting in this house. As you can see, I mean, it's definitely abandoned. It's been abandoned for, I would say, quite some time now. Give you the grand tour of the kitchen. The tour of the abandoned house. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm gonna be honest. Check out this little door. I was really hoping I'd find something. I have no idea what the f that is, so I'm not gonna touch that. This mysterious object has been delicately wrapped in some kind of deli paper and left hanging. I have no idea what this is, but I'm afraid that it was once attached to someone. I totally forgot there's an upstairs. Oh, these are rickety stairs. It's about 20 degrees. It's kind of weird. Oh, and what's over here? There is a Bible. <laughs> there's a there's a Bi <laughs> there's a Bible next to about a hundred toys. The way the book is facing the camera is creepy, like it was left there on purpose, perhaps to guard against some evil in this room. Maybe an exorcism on someone possessed by a demon took place here. With that in mind, what he does next is very questionable indeed. I'm gonna grab this Bible and take it with me, cause I might need it on the way out. Alright, time to go. <laughs> I'm just gonna leave this here. That's really. Hopefully, removing the book didn't free something from that attic space. Besides that, I wouldn't want to touch anything that was possibly used during an exorcism anyway. And on top of that, discarding the book without a care seems like really bad luck to begin with. Oh, and one more thing. More bad news, of course. I think there may have been more clues in this hole at the top of the stairs. But what was hiding in there could not have been good. I think I might even see a face. Jenlar Sebastian Diamond is a YouTuber who appears to be calling out some sort of high-level corruption, though I have no idea what he means. The first video he ever made is extremely hard to understand because he is mumbling something while holding his ID. Then he plays some text-to-speech program for a minute that unfortunately also makes little sense to me as well. Today that children, their mothers, fathers, and young girls are being severely mistreated. Almost all of his videos start with him showing his ID and then playing the text-to-speech program outside of his window or in various public places. 
There's little context to go off of which somehow makes these videos even stranger. Even his ordinary trips to the grocery store somehow seem creepy as he slowly photographs everything that he is buying and the receipt like they are all important evidence. Judging by the number of mysterious videos he makes every day, this dark issue must constantly be on his mind. Luisito Kamunaika enters a graveyard, an Argentina meant for millionaires, to see what the afterlife is like for the rich. After he is taking a personal tour in a cemetery that's supposed to be empty, he twice fails to see what many later insist was the shadow person lurking nearby. This possible ghost sighting over his shoulder is giving a lot of people the creeps. I think it was weird at first, but now I think it could have just been another person taking a tour. This encounter at 9 minutes and 55 seconds is what has many people convinced that this is a ghost, but I think I have a different explanation. The first person is wearing all black and does look creepy, but if you look closely you can see a second person is walking with him, and therefore this is almost definitely just a couple taking an afternoon stroll and nothing more. This isn't paranormal in my opinion, but with almost 8 million views and new comments coming in all the time, I just wanted to analyze this video and put the rumors of this video to rest. Still, you should always watch out for strange people while on vacation, especially in a cemetery. A ghost sighting in Jacksonville, Florida, leaves one man certain he has evidence of the paranormal. There's not a tree. A strangely human shaped figure emits a strange glow. It could be pretty much anything from this far away. Approaching headlights against a tree comes to mind, but he's adamant that it's not a tree. He's too scared to drive any closer, so the video ends. I can't be the only one who wishes he would have gotten closer, but I understand why he wanted to get the heck out of there. 99% of us would have done the same, and if not, then I guess you're braver than most. An unexplained ghost sighting caught on camera by Chris Allen looks real enough to have me beyond creeped out. It looks like something small is underneath, or scarier still, someone, a ghost, is running their hand along the covers. Where are you at? I don't see you. Mm, there you are. What are you doing? Yo, this is so creepy. It looks paranormal, but I am suspicious because he never looks underneath to verify nothing's there. My feet are over here. Both of them. Look, both of my feet. This is not my feet. There's nobody in this bed. Yo, <laughs> I'm getting out of the bed. <laughs> I really hope this is like a pet mouse or something, or else his bedroom is definitely haunted. Behind this bed, there used to be a door. Look closely to the left of the lamp here and you'll see the outline where it was painted over. There's just one problem. Apparently something on the other side doesn't understand that this is no longer a passageway. The knocking sounds polite yet urgent, definitely human. It really does sound like someone who believes that they belong in this room and expects to be let in at any moment. It seems like her problem is not going to go away on its own anytime soon. I really wouldn't want to see what's inside of that wall, but it might be the only way to end the problem for good, or maybe make it way worse. This radio DJ is live on air when all of the lights go out. Some of his equipment is still on though, so this is not a normal blackout. He is all alone and doesn't know what to do, so he calls someone for help, probably a management at home or technical support. That's when a cloaked figure passes by the window and makes him put down the phone. He creeps to the window and looks down the hall. Whoever it was is already gone. The next call he makes, I'm sure, is to the cops. According to him, this radio station has very high-tech security that requires thumbprints authorization to get in. Nobody should have been walking around after hours, especially not somebody dressed in ancient robes with their head down. 
Gorman Sujin is inspecting his new apartment with a camera to document any damages left from the tenants before him. He gets through all the rooms and the balcony without problem, but after reviewing the video later, he realizes that he is far from being home alone. A woman in white appears suspended in midair. I don't see a rope, but I will say she is next to the shower rod and her feet are not touching the ground. I wouldn't be surprised if this is what became of the last person who lived here. A YouTuber named Nick Soup is barefoot water skiing when suddenly he finds one of the handles wrapped firmly around his throat. Look again in slow motion and you'll see exactly how this one in a million scenario unfolds. The handle drops into the water, shoots back into the air, and wraps perfectly around Nick's throat like a noose. Thinking fast, he rips the handle over his head while still hanging on. Had he let go and fallen into the water, he would have been dragged by the neck at high speeds. A YouTuber named Audrey and Liz is excited to recreate a science experiment. She learned that if you soak a dollar bill in isopropyl and light it on fire, it won't cause any damage. The, I'm gonna dip the dollar. Everything is going according to plan, but then she messes up by holding the bill over the open container, catching it on fire. She tries to pour water into the container to extinguish the flames, but when that doesn't work, she makes the biggest mistake of all. Yeah, I don't even know what I'm doing here. Oh my god! Panicking, Audrey flips over the flaming liquid and sets her entire table on fire. She turns off the camera so we don't get to see exactly how this situation was solved. Obviously, she managed to escape with her life and later uploads the video onto YouTube, but if any of the liquid got on her clothes or hair, it could easily be an entirely different story. Don't leave your fun up to an app. It might take you on a journey to your demise. Published to TikTok by Stephen Donovan, he explains that he was using the Randonautica app to direct him on a random adventure. For those who are unfamiliar with Randonautica, the app delivers a set of local coordinates supplied by a quantum random number generator. In doing so, users are encouraged to explore the unexpected. Stephen's coordinates certainly delivered. Here's what happened. Randonautica sent these two on a dirt road through an abandoned ghost town. Creepy mannequins are standing in the windows of the empty wooden buildings. The mountain roads take them past empty cars parked on the shoulder. However, no one appears to be in the area. They pass a sign that reads private property, but they ignore it and continue up the steep, narrow road. It's getting dark and they are now on foot. The pin is pulled up and they are getting close to their destination. That's when they see it. We had the pin pulled up. We were so close to it. And this happened. How to explain this. Something rolls down the hill from a broken structure, and in that structure, they see what looks like a melted face. They take this as their cue to leave. TikToker Rachel Chun surmises Watch those cars be the ones left behind by the random knots that never left. Steven notes that he deleted the app after this misadventure. After this, can you blame him? This security footage shows a strange moving blur that distorts large sections of the floor as it passes by. A short while later, someone appears to be shoved from behind while walking by. It's odd how they lose their balance while walking across the exact same part of the floor. That was blurry only moments earlier. Also notice how, for whatever reason, they immediately look down at the floor. Could they possibly be seeing something with their own eyes that the camera doesn't detect? A four-year-old is happily drinking his juice until for some reason the straw stops working. His protective parents get a bad feeling and curiously inspect the package to see what's wrong. And this is what it's inside. Nasty. A thick green clump of sludge clings to the bottom and blocks the straw. Slowly, they realize their child has been unknowingly sucking on what could be a giant floating piece of moldy gel. As if that wasn't bad enough, the father flips it over with a straw to reveal an even worse looking underside. Ew. <gasps> oh my god. Again. Look at that. 
The alien looking growth is probably loaded with bacteria and far from safe to consume. So if you've ever been enjoying a packaged drink and the straw stopped working, I guess you now know a reason why. This old VHS tape from 1999 could have captured a ghost, but I need your help to tell if it's true. If you look to the right of the two tombstones, you can clearly see a figure standing there dressed in white. I definitely see the ghost in question, especially when you zoom in. There's actually a surprising amount of detail, and I can even make out the buttons on their shirt and possibly a long musket. At the same time, I have some other possible explanations as to what this could be. This could be the open space between two trees, in which case the vivid details are nothing more than a random arrangement of branches. This could also be a cemetery statue from afar. This was taken way before high definition, so it's hard to tell for certain, but I'd still like to get your thoughts. A man enters a restaurant in Split, Croatia, and helps himself not only to a chair, but to a customer's belongings as well. First, he enters loudly enough to make two women turn around and take notice. He was probably on a fake phone call and tried to play it cool, but fails miserably. He pretends to hang his jacket up on the chair and stretches out to try and swipe this black backpack. It doesn't work, and so, undeterred, he tries again. This time as one of the family members gets up and he's about as close as he can be to getting caught here at 41 seconds and so he knocks it to the floor while the older man is busy swapping out a more comfortable chair, covers it with his jacket, picks it up and dips. They must have thought the odd fellow simply changed his mind about eating here. Only later did they realize he had gotten away with one of their travel documents. Obviously, this man has practiced this technique many times before and probably targeted them because they looked like a tourist family. He has yet to be caught in the past four years and most likely never will. So the next time you're at a restaurant, watch out for any odd characters sitting at a table near you. Caden Parker meets up with some friends at a local skate park and finds someone much older trying to pick arguments with everyone he sees. Big man! Who's big man? You, right? I'm going for a sleeper. Dude, come on. Just can you just like leave us alone? We're, we're just trying to have a good time, enjoying the nice weather. Like, Who cares? Is it? You know, I'm going for a sleeper. Soon he turns his attention towards Caden and tells him he's going to put him in a submission hold if he comes down from the ramp. By now, the skate park has mostly cleared out, so it's just a face off between Caden and this angry stranger. Dude, the police are on the way. I hope you know that. I hope so. I, I didn't, I didn't saw the the skate park. Skate park. And he's kind of thick bikes so with little kids. <laughs> All right then. Make yes, Yo, tell him to send an officer ASAP. An officer shows up right before things get any more out of hand. I really don't think this is a fake video because the officer walks up and puts him in cuffs straight away. Apparently, he has a long history of doing this and nobody seems to be acting. After he's taken away, the park fills back up with people who are scared away. Caden Parker shows a lot of bravery standing up for them, as well as self-restraint by not stepping forward when challenged. Had this escalated, he could be in as much trouble as the person who is actually in the wrong. He did everything right in my opinion, and is allowed to enjoy the rest of his day peacefully as a result. Unless you're touring abandoned asylums or reputably haunted sites, you probably wouldn't expect to capture anything mysterious on camera, but this individual did just that. This video has been making the rounds all over the internet and we tracked it down to its original source. Published to YouTube in January of 2019, JJPD Productiones writes, Mr. Luis Reyes was traveling to Nicaragua for the first time. He went on a tour of tourist areas of the country. Specifically to the Tiscapa viewpoint, he recorded the landscape, but did not expect to capture what you will see next. What you see looks like a giant crab, insect, or alien-like creature, maybe all three combined. The creature is standing on a rooftop, then it walks to the edge and jumps over to a courtyard, out of sight. While many congratulate the uploader on the special effects, some are willing to suspend their disbelief. But upon further investigation, it appears this channel specializes in special effects. 
So my explanation for this video is that while it's quite scary, it's most likely CGI. Everyone who owns a dog knows that they can sense things we humans don't. Posted by Redditor ChewyBone02, he writes, I think my dog had a crisis. And he isn't wrong. The video shows two dogs standing on a day sofa, looking out the window. The bigger one really starts to panic, its legs pushing the sofa so far from the window that he's stretched pretty impressively until he absolutely can't stretch anymore and pops down to the floor. Meanwhile, a number of orbs appear throughout the clip, drifting across the room. Is something outside spooking these dogs? Or is it something paranormal inside? After all, those orbs certainly point towards the latter. If only these dogs could talk and let us know what the answer truly is. This video was taken at night in a parking garage somewhere in West India. A woman was apparently acting normal until she was suddenly attacked by what some bystanders later described as a ghost. Watch this part and tell me if you think she is having delusions or fighting off a spiritual possession. Try to translate if possible too, please. I did not think much of this video until I noticed what could be a strange paranormal disturbance. Some kind of fast-moving white objects repeatedly appear during the harshest times of her struggle. Like here, for instance. Poor camera quality makes it hard to tell if these are some kind of spirit orbs or just insects. If these are insects and nothing more, I find it weird that there are only just a few of them and how they only seem to appear during key moments of the video when she is in the most distress. This video was taken at night in a parking garage somewhere in West India. A woman was apparently acting normal until she was suddenly attacked by what some bystanders later described as a ghost. Watch this part and tell me if you think she is having delusions or fighting off a spiritual possession. Try to translate if possible too, please. I did not think much of this video until I noticed what could be a strange paranormal disturbance. Some kind of fast-moving white objects repeatedly appear during the harshest times of her struggle. Like here, for instance. <laughs> Poor camera quality makes it hard to tell if these are some kind of spirit orbs or just insects. If these are insects and nothing more, I find it weird that there are only just a few of them and how they only seem to appear during key moments of the video when she is in the most distress. A Twitch streamer named Nikki is at the height of her game when her stream ends in a way that absolutely no one in her chat could have predicted. Nikki jumps up to see what's wrong and is greeted with shouting demands. If you can understand what she is trying to say back to them, then please let me know. A strange man briefly comes in and begins ransacking the house for valuables. You would think that's where their plans would end, but apparently the plan was also to force them to go to the bank and make large cash withdrawals. Thankfully, her viewers called the police quickly, and at least one of the assailants was caught on the spot. Still, for just a regular stream, this ending is extremely unexpected. I'm just happy the residents of the home were okay. A YouTuber named Skits comes across a man lying motionless in his car with the door wide open. They check his pulse, which is reasonable, but instead of calling the police or an ambulance, they decide to do him a solid and drive him home to the address on his registration. I mean, it's a nice gesture and all, but if this guy was having a serious medical problem and passes away on their watch, then I'm pretty sure they could be held responsible. Anyway, when they finally pull up to his house, they let themselves in using his keys and leave him in a safe spot. Just when they think they've done their good deed for the day, something completely unexpected happens. Bobby! Go. Oh, go, go. We were just trying to help. Go, 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 go
All this poor woman sees is two strangers standing in her home over someone she knows. She probably thought they were in the middle of breaking in. They run out the door, but since they came here in someone else's car, I'm not sure where they were going, but they managed to get away. I feel like this situation could have been avoided by just knocking on the door instead of going straight inside without at least announcing themselves. The whole situation borders on the edge of being implausible. Do you think it really happened? Got insomnia? This scary video won't help. Published by Little Genius in February of 2022, the following footage was captured while this poor soul was sleeping, or trying to. Slowly, the blankets are pulled down from the man's shoulders. He pulls them back up, but it happens again, and then a third time. But this doesn't seem to get the sleeping man's attention. A water bottle balanced on his headboard falls onto the bed. He replaces it and continues to sleep, but the bottle soon wobbles to the side and falls again. Next, a chair with a teddy bear slides forward on its own. Moments later, it scoots forward even more. It then tips backward, falling onto the floor and finally waking the man up. What entity is interfering with this guy's sleep? Whoever it is, it succeeded. This man will never sleep again. It's an everyday afternoon, playing in the pool, just having a bit of fun, when all of a sudden this happens. Posted to YouTube by the Junnet channel in October of 2018. This video shows what appears to be everyday footage of a nice family swim at the pool. You probably won't even notice what's incredibly creepy here at first glance. Look closely and it'll mess with your brain. At around 8 seconds into the clip, the father lifts his son up onto the pool's ledge. Watch the boy's left leg. Out of nowhere comes a third hand, helping to lift the boy up. The hand disappears, and there doesn't appear to be anyone nearby as the shot pans. Whose hand is this, and where does its owner disappear to? Did someone pass away in this pool and become its phantom? I guess we'll never know. Ring doorbells seem to capture more than you were bargaining for. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by Yakuza Disco Man. This redditor is wondering if what he's caught on his ring doorbell is paranormal. The security camera shows a wide shot of a street outside his home with several parked cars along it. Nothing unusual, that is, until this ghostly figure streams past in the darkness. The semi-transparent phantom appears like he's trailing fog. Is this a spirit on a nighttime stroll? Redditor Noobvin rains on our ghost hunting parade writing. This is a camera glitch due to low lighting, and the way the ring camera saves space with video and images, it's looking for pixel changes, and with low light, it is only detecting a fraction of the actual image, which makes the image appear transparent, noting that it's not really a glitch per se, but rather the design of the camera in order to reduce high bandwidth. Noobvin is pretty sure it's not a ghost. Others suggested that the Redditor reenact the event under these same conditions to see if he can replicate this. Let's hope he does. Better safe than sorry. Nevertheless, I genuinely think this footage is creepy. This ghost hunt turns terrifying fast. Published by Indra Saputra Official in April of 2022, Indra is exploring an abandoned place when he turns down a hallway that's occupied. <laughs> Dressed in white, a girl whose face we cannot see is kneeling in the darkness. Indra seems to hold back his fear so as not to startle the demon girl, but soon he turns around and takes off running. Would you stick around? 
That's a heck no from me. The next time you're at a club and the lights go out, take a look around you. You might be surrounded by extraterrestrials. Published in April of 2013 by YouTuber Grumpy Jamaican, this scary video has me questioning everything. The old footage shows an elite party at a Russian nightclub. Everyone is dancing and having fun until the power goes out and captures something unexpected. Three of the so-called humans in the video had an inhuman quality, glowing eyes. Eyes. The unsettling horror was captured on camera as the nightclubbers danced. The eyes of one woman and two men standing near each other all glow brightly in the darkness. No other person in their vicinity suffers the same optical glow. Unlike animals, humans have terrible night vision. Many in the comments are rightly freaked out by this discovery. YouTuber Love and Learning notes that this cannot be a reflection. She writes, All their eyes glowed at the same time, and they were in different places with people around them, so reflection is not the light source. Are these figures extraterrestrial? Or are they humans with bioluminescent genes? Either option is troubling. This worrisome video I'm about to show you was posted on March 18th of 2017 by a person who had been teetering on the edge of self-destruction for years. Things were much worse this time. Something, something seems to be after me. I, I don't know what else to say. Except... Goodbye. And you'll never guess what he does next, but first let me tell you what he has been through. His psychological torment would begin in early 2015, approximately two years before his final goodbye. That was when someone began knocking at his door, almost every night, for days. He lives all alone and is a very private person, so introverted in fact that we never learn his name. For him to have a visitor is not normal let alone in the middle of the night. The knocks were annoying at first, but he figured it would stop if he ignored it. But when that didn't work, he decided to start documenting everything early on, in case he needed to take it to the police or something later. He also decided to confront it and defend himself if need be. This incident, taken on February 12, 2015, starts with two knocks that are so soft, it would be easy to think you're imagining them. But after three weeks of harassment, he is frazzled and hears every noise, so he springs to action, ready to meet force with force. But there's just one problem. Nothing is ever there to confront. Listen closely to this part, because I hear chatter after he locks up. He installs a second camera outside the very next night on February 13th, 2015. Friday the 13th to be exact. Sure enough, it starts again. He opens the door and no one's there. It's not two different videos put together either, because his movements in both videos sync perfectly, like at 1 minute and 15 seconds when he smooths his hair. Even if he practiced this routine, it still wouldn't be this dead on. Oh yeah, and I forgot to mention that this happens at 3am every night. Anyone would want to move and he absolutely did, but his money situation meant he couldn't either continue to endure this or go homeless in the middle of the winter. Eventually, he decides to go outside before 3 a.m. and see if he can catch whatever or whoever is doing this on video. He doesn't see them, but he does find footprints leading away from his house into the woods. The footprint is separated in two halves, more like a hoof print than a foot, yet two legs instead of four. Some people have said this could be a demon or even a cryptid. I don't know about all of that, but I know that he really did go out at 3 a.m. And I know this because I hear a train throughout the video. Oddly enough, this late night train is heard in all of his videos, and I think could be closely related. Something bad must have happened on the nearby tracks. By August 28th, 
Whatever had left those footprints was looking for other ways inside both day and night. No longer was it confined to 3 a.m. Tell me if this is an animal or something way worse. I didn't hear any claws tapping. This was the sound of somebody fast. A raccoon or a possum would be doing this at night time. This was something big in the middle of the day, like a restless spirit. So after years of experiencing this and other similar encounters, perhaps you'll better understand why. After saying goodbye in March of 2017, he simply decided to open up the door and stop. Goodbye. Whatever that was, it sounded far from being a person. Over two years later, this mysterious final video was uploaded on January 1st, 2019. Those sound like church bells. Maybe this is a clip taken from a funeral. Could it be his? And whoever typed these replies doesn't act like him at all. Fair warning, this video is said to be cursed so I am in no way responsible for what happens to you as a result of watching it. They are recording nothing in particular when a horrifying monstrosity rushes out of the pitch black backyard and straight towards the camera. I hope this video isn't real, but if it is, then it doesn't look like the person had much of a chance. Hopefully you won't befall the same fate for watching. When demons speak, you listen. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit by Regal. The Redditor explains that he and some friends listened back to the voice recording of an EVP when they heard this demon or spirit, which sounds like it's speaking directly into the recorder. In the recording, you can hear the group asking the spirit if he can let them know he is present. Just let me know you are here. See, it's a roach party over here. After asking this question a couple times, a clear voice is heard, and he wants one thing from the living. He wants them to get out. In the Reddit thread, Regal explains that a neighbor from his apartment complex in Reno, Nevada, told him that he'd seen a tall shadow man in the mirror, leering behind him. Then they experience some poltergeist activity as a protein container threw itself across the room at them when they entered the neighbor's house. He suspected the demon also possessed his neighbor as the man kept blacking out only to awake standing in the corner of the room. The neighbor also suffered from unexplained scratches on occasion. Redditor jazzed out writes, that sounds like a malevolent spirit to me, and not a demon, and to add to this, demons are easier to identify when and if they speak, because they will be speaking in a language called Aramaic, which is more difficult to understand. Demon or malevolent spirit, to be honest, don't know which is worse. A parenting channel called The Mommy Wayopedia has thousands of subscribers who are looking for heartwarming family videos. Paranormal content is not what they seek, and I don't think she's playing around when she uploaded a rather realistic ghost sighting video for fans to analyze. So here's the background story on this video. She's been seeing some weird things on CCTV camera for the past week or so, but never had the phone nearby to record, and does have a memory card for the camera, so she waited near the CCTV monitor for a couple of days for the paranormal entity to return, and this creepy sighting of a mysterious figure is what she has since caught on camera. The mother tries to keep the fear out of her voice as she tells her son to keep reading a book out loud. Oh, I hear you read the book, baby. Okay. She doesn't want to scare him. She can't take her eyes off what she sees. Seated on the ground facing the courtyard on the first floor is this exquisitely eerie ghost sighting. A woman with long hair and a gown. 
She's across from the main entrance waiting for them to come out. The see-through figure does not move but look closely and at 10 seconds, you'll see this object across from the ghost is moving all by itself. Or maybe it's the wind. The mommy Wayopedia has no idea what this ghost wants from her or her family and is seeking advice on what to do next. I would say this is a camera glitch but she's been seeing it on different monitors across different places so it appears to be an actual ghost. With that in mind, the only thing left to do is either confront it or hope it goes away, and I'm not sure if either is going to get her any peace. While well, inside this haunted house, these ghost hunters are lured into the forest. Published by Lomar Mendez in October of 2021, the pair consider whether or not something is in the house with them, and as they explore the house, they hear something. The house is probably creaking. Their camera's light appears to be malfunctioning, and soon they become positive that someone else is here. As they wait in fear, they hear a strange noise from the next room, and then they see the figure. They take this as their cue to leave. While they do escape the house without incident, they're being followed. But the big reveal is yet to come. <laughs> well, this is a pretty messed up thing for a dad to do. These two should look on the bright side. This could have ended so much worse. A ghost boy, known as a Pukong in Indonesian was captured on film in this cemetery. Posted by Antarija, a cameraman is wandering a cemetery at night when he turns to spot this figure. The figure is standing wrapped like a mummy. The distorted face is barely discernible, and the cameraman quickly turns and flees into the darkness. He keeps turning back and somehow the figure is closer and closer. Its horrifying face is what nightmares are made of. It's not clear if the thing is chasing him, but it does seem to be on his tail. Did he make it out alive? Or are one of these graves for him? Let's hope not. We've all been warned never to pick up hitchhikers, but that advice especially goes for paranormal ones. This dash cam footage was posted in July of 2019. The dash cam's clock shows that the clip was taken around 2 in the morning. If you blink, you'll miss it, so pay careful attention. Driving down a dark and empty highway, the car is traveling at a fairly fast speed when, off to its right, in the empty lane, appears a figure. Some say it has its thumb out for a ride. Do you see it? Is it a ghost? Or is it just a regular person with a bad wish? After all, who hails a ride in the middle of the road during the darkness of night? Only someone who's looking to get run over, or at least doesn't mind testing fate, whether ghost or real boy. This isn't something you want to see while driving down a dark road at 2am. It might very well send you into a terrified tailspin, making you the next ghost on the highway. Walking home in the dark is never a treat. It's even worse if you cross paths with something like this. Posted to YouTube in February of 2018 by Rohit Mukherjee, this ghost sighting was caught on camera in India. The YouTuber writes that one of his uncle's friends captured the creature on camera while returning home late from work with a friend. He writes, As he was coming down the road, he heard some noises, mostly shrieks, and he thought it might be an animal or something. As he was looking around, he saw something on the trees and pointed his mobile camera towards it, and then he saw this mysterious creature. The footage does show a figure in the trees. It looks like a human outline. At first, you assume it's just some oddity in the shadows, but then it moves. After seeing this creature, the men say, Bug, bug, which means run, run. <laughs> They then raced home and sent the video to Rohit's uncle. 
What do you think this figure could be? A ghost, an evil shadow, or some other strange entity? Or maybe it's just a monkey? A YouTuber named Jmans Vlogs 356 was watching a movie when he hears a noise coming from the basement. He notices that the door, which is normally locked, has somehow become unlocked in the past few minutes. Thinking fast, Jay grabs a large hammer and braces himself for the worst. Soon after, something stops him before he even gets a chance to go down the steps. He claims to have seen a face, and his camera does pick up what could be the head of a tall man staring back at him. According to the description for this video, the police were called and the man was arrested, though there is no proof to back up this story aside from this video evidence. This next video, made to raise awareness, is supposed to replicate voices in your head. Among the many visual and audio delusions is one in particular that really gets to me, a girl with no eyes who appears at random. The girl with no eyes is apparently very common and reported by many. The following scene is an example of how she usually comes to them, or rather, for them. She is here. Ben! Ben! Nowhere is safe from the girl with no eyes, because once she is in your mind, there's nowhere to hide. This is what it's supposed to be like when she finds you. No one knows why so many people have reported seeing the exact same figure. Maybe it's a subconscious manifestation of a common fear we all have. Or maybe it's some type of possession that's driving people to madness. If this video is just a simulation, then I can only imagine how terrifying the real thing must be face to face. This farmhouse has a paranormal feeling. Published by Ouija Brothers, the brothers are filming when one feels the hanging wallpaper move a little bit. Um, yeah, just kind of moved in the LP. Did you touch it? I didn't touch it. I, I didn't move. I was, I was, I was, I was uh, it's close away. I did feel some cold come in there. Not long after, a strange noise is heard. A second clip taken by the cameraman captures the sound again from a different angle. It clearly wasn't him making the sound. Okay. Is that? Is that you? I think it's. I think it's the floor. I was like, um, like someone got a marble and rolled it. Hey. Okay. Yeah. I think it's. I think it's the floor. Later, they hear a knock and then a creepy voice. They find a cat in the house, and then again outside. While the cat is cute and all, the house holds other creatures as well. These ones, not so cute. The enormous spider starts moving, and the brothers quickly wrap things up. While spirits are one thing, spiders are just a bit too much. This Ukrainian dash cam captures one of the highest resolution highway ghost encounters I have ever seen. Watch this part and tell me what is being said here if possible. I would really like to have a legitimate translation of this potentially supernatural message. The driver speeds off after she falls back and disappears and does not stop until they are back to civilization. This professional quality of this video makes me wonder if this is from a European movie or television show. If not, it almost looks like a well-constructed hologram. I could find no other source for this video, so be sure to let me know if this is amateur footage or something from mainstream media. It's a dreary and overcast day when a YouTuber named Sharby straps a GoPro on his head and heads into an abandoned graveyard with his friend. This eerie graveyard is surrounded by woods and is in the middle of nowhere, as Sharby puts it, and they are hoping to find some adventure. They are checking out old headstones and goofing off when a frightening discovery suddenly changes the mood. What? 
Is that a knife, dude? It appears to be a rusty old crowbar that was perhaps used to dig up graves. Both Sharby and his friend instantly get a bad feeling, and Sharby throws it to the ground, suddenly wanting nothing to do with the ancient object. They keep exploring and eventually come across a grave from 1811. The unshakable feeling of dread just won't go away, and suddenly it begins to snow, which is very odd weather for October. Not too far away, they discovered a battered doll and get seriously freaked out by its mere presence. Okay, yo, let's get the f out of here, man. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah. No, okay, that's it. Some branches snap in the nearby woods and they quickly flee before they can find out what was near them. A YouTuber named Dan Logan Iffy shot this Disneyland footage almost 10 years ago, and it still remains a paranormal point of contention even today. Dan's filming the end of a typical Disney fireworks show when he sees something strange and zooms in. A gray specter appears to be admiring the show from atop his perch on the Walt Disney Castle. It watches the final barrage of fireworks for a bit longer and then silently disappears from sight. Some people think that this was just a fireworks technician wearing dark clothing while others are convinced that this is a phantom and possibly even the ghost of Walt Disney himself. I'm not sure what it was, but I do agree that the timing is very eerie. I mean, the ghost or whatever it was does happen to show up right before the final high note and then disappear shortly afterwards, so that's definitely odd. Let me know what you think it was, and if you think the timing was just a coincidence. A popular YouTuber named Mikey021 has reason to believe his house in Brazil is really haunted. He says it's not uncommon for objects to go moving on their own. Tell me if you think this home experiment is real or not. This video might be a spirit or he could be blowing plastic cups off his counter with a hair dryer. It looks paranormal until you realize it could simply be wind. If some heavier objects were caught on camera from a different angle, showing both sides of the counter, then I would be more readily convinced, but as it stands, I'm just not sure if his house is haunted. Gary Reed Unfrequented World is the name of a YouTube channel that, at first glance, seems chock full of ordinary outdoor vlogs and entertainment. Gary goes on photography and metal detecting excursions, and generally enjoys hiking his large property in the northern Ontario wilderness, often accompanied by his loving family. But something threatens the tranquility of Gary Reed's unfrequented world, a screaming cryptid deep in the woods that can twist trees in its powerful grasp. But more on that in a second. First, let me talk about Gary and why his observations matter more than the average YouTuber. Born in the small Ontario town of Redbridge, Gary Reed has been surrounded by woods his whole life. Aside from a lifetime of first-hand experience exploring the local lands, he also has a degree in environmental science and understands his surroundings on an advanced biological level. So when he says there is something out there that he can't explain, it probably means you or I can't either. His first encounter with it was at the age of 18, while staying in a cabin on Rabbit Lake, October 19, 1994. That's when he heard a scream that sounded like a woman, but not quite. He describes a second scream as a wail, crescendoing into a howl, like nothing he's heard before. It ran through the entire camp, screaming from one side to the other. Then it was gone. On April 30th, 2020, he heard it again. That sucks. Can you hear screaming? It sounds almost human, but not quite. Yes, this thing is still going on over here. Here it is again with the audio turned up. 
I know foxes can make some weird noises, but this sounds like a person enraged. Camera in hand, he sneaks quietly towards the direction of the screaming to see what he can find. His trained eye detects a strange break in this tree, along with other trees that have been toppled over, all of them facing the same direction, like someone was running fast through the forest. There's one there. And next to the strange scene is a braided bunch that looks like something strong twisted it into this shape. Let me know if there is any other way for these branches to fuse together if not by sheer force. The deeper he goes, the more it looks like something large has stomped through. Oddest of all are these large tracks left by what he suspects is a cryptid that walks upright. Not mine. It's clear to me that these are not your average boots. Like toe prints in here. You can almost see the toes. At 10 minutes and 25 seconds, he tries to trace an outline of its toes, but I think he's a little off. Here's where they begin in my opinion, much bigger. The next day he measured the results, and it reminds me of a certain cryptid with particularly big feet. I'm sure you know who I mean. 13 and a quarter inches. I think it's real, but just to throw out a counterpoint, I will say that rain from the day before could have eroded the snow and could have made an otherwise normal footstep seem much larger. Now let's switch over to some trail camps set up by Gary. This evidence, taken exactly a month earlier on March 3rd, is the most compelling of all. On March 7th, four days later, he and his neighbor hear another scream so shrill, it sounds like it belongs to a child. He hurries out the door and finds himself alone and vulnerable in the pitch black night. I gotta turn the dish back on, I can hear whistling. A pair of animal eyes look at him from behind, but I think it might just be the light reflecting off his glasses back into the camera. But I could be wrong, because when they check around the same area the next day, his dog becomes agitated and seems not to want to proceed any further. Something is definitely up ahead. Maybe they are getting close on its trail. Not that its trail is especially hard to find when it leaves a path of giant bent trees in its wake. Could nature have done this? Probably not. It looks like something huge reached up and pulled it down. That's a pretty big one. And half a minute later he finds this tree with a branch literally twisted off and set back in place. This doesn't look like a normal break to me, because the tree looks rather healthy. Yeah, it's about 8 feet, and it's got a good twist to it. Here's another perfectly healthy tree with green leaves, this time ripped in half by something strong, or maybe simply struck by lightning. Either way, that doesn't explain what animal is responsible for doing this. Is. You can see the bark, and you can actually see lines. Well, those are tooth marks. See all those little lines are tooth marks. I don't know what it is, but I know that anything that shreds trees while screaming is too dangerous for me to be in the same forest as. And that's only what's been going on for the past couple months. There's over a year's worth of cryptid content to uncover. So I encourage you to watch Gary Reed Unfrequented World and see for yourself. In the meantime, leave me your best guess as to what's doing this. Maybe we can crack one of the weirdest modern unsolved mysteries in all of Ontario. A YouTuber named Wokun Cha is on a mission to explore the most haunted places in Pakistan faster than anyone in the history of ghost hunting. Since August of 2019, he has investigated no less than 60 paranormal locations, but for time's sake, let's Let's focus on these top three scariest ones. In September of 2019, he travels to a house possessed by demonic desert spirits called Jinns. He takes a single step in the first room and already feels a cold presence warning him to stay away. Then the door across the room closes so slowly you have to watch the shine of his camera light to see it. When he fearlessly takes a few steps forward. <laughs> 
Oh. A ghostly white arm reaches for the knob to shut it the rest of the way, at which point his flashlight turns itself off. The same door clatter loses again behind him. Someone's on the other side, but whether it's a ghost or a member of his crew is what I want to know. Also, what is he saying here to provoke such an angry response? Nobody is on the other side of the door, at least no one that I can see, though I suppose someone could be ducking under the camera here to make it look that way. But that's when he sees it, the thing responsible for closing the door, a white apparition who glides away without a word. It's creepy for sure but also questionable, because he sees the ghost and then enters the room looking the exact opposite way for some reason, which makes me think that they could have digitally added the ghost later. Next, he hears something so eerie and insane that it almost has to be edited. Let me know if you think it's legit, because if so, then this is pretty much proof of the supernatural. Voices, perhaps children, whose lives the djinn has snuffed. The ghost hunter understandably seems reluctant to go any further, and perhaps senses a great danger is near. As it turns out, he's right. <laughs> No one seems to be inside of this room, but as he timidly rounds the corner, I think I see this grey figure in a cloak standing on the other side, the djinn itself. It's blurry, yes, but something nonetheless seems to be looking straight at him. The top arrow is its face, and the bottom its outstretched hand, palm up. He flees then and there, but on February 2nd of 2020, returns to the home for another look. I think they might be saying that something is on the roof here, but I need your help to translate and make sure. Apparently, whatever it is, it's now in the room with them so they step outside. They take a short breather but as soon as they're back inside, the trouble starts once again. I'm pretty sure he's asking for confirmation of a ghost during this part and soon he gets a response. At which point this chain on a nail begins to sway back and forth for well over 10 seconds completely on its own. Door slams shut but Wokan Cha is determined to go further than before, and eventually he comes across a bizarre straw hut that fills him with unexplainable dread. The earth looks recently disturbed, anything could be buried beneath the rubble. He's contemplating the structure when the spirits become restless. Astaghfirullah. Or maybe it's just a string tied to a tree. Either way, he seeks shelter in an area that's just as haunted as everywhere else, and soon he hears voices coming through the walls. At this point, you would think nothing could stop this fearless explorer. Doors slamming, groaning moans, and objects moving on their own aren't enough to make him leave. But the part that scares him the most is literally nothing at all. A presence that we can't see and only he can feel. Is this part real or just good acting? A deep sea condition, eh? Allah Akbar! Astaghfirullah! He turns around and looks at the corner as if something had just brushed by. Whatever touched him leaves him too scared to re-enter. I've saved the creepiest one of all for last, a paranormal adventure that takes place on October 23rd, 2019. That's when Wokan Cha travels to a site full of unmarked burials. Many of them are child-sized. It's a calm night and crickets chirp as he says a few words that I would like translated because they sound very somber and sorrowful. The stillness of the night is soon replaced by a rushing whisper that sounds lonely and paranormal, a rising cry of anguish possibly originating from the other side of life. As he reaches an old memorial, he hears another voice call out, a near laugh.
And approximately two minutes later, the same voice laughing. His nervous fear is overpowered by a morbid curiosity to stay and see who the voice belongs to. I was halfway expecting a hand to bust forth from the earth, but what happens next is just as frightening. He checks around the side of the building and sees nothing. He's all alone again, just himself in the graves. I wish Wokun Shaw all the best, but at the same time really hopes he slows down to a safer rate of exploring. If he keeps this up, it's only a matter of time before something really bad happens to him. And at this rate, he might not even make it to his 100th video. Nursing homes are rife with elderly spirits that just cannot move on. This surveillance footage may have caught one of them. Posted to YouTube by Rice RV4 in September of 2012, this clip is surveillance footage of the Niles Nursing Center, as indicated by the sign in the hallway. The clip shows the elevator door drawing open with no one exiting. Then off to the right, what appears to be a cane slides across the floor in the hallway. It also moves to one side apparently on its own, before several people are seen passing through the hallway and someone finally picks the cane up and places it out of harm's way, leaning it against the wall. The cane then disappears altogether without anyone making an appearance. YouTube commenters suggest that the ghost may have been trying to trip people with the placement of the cane. One commenter in particular, Siege Kroos, suggests that they have some inside info on the case. He writes, Super surprised that this got out after how hard the nurses and the people are trying to keep it a secret. In response to this, YouTuber Silent Night Crew states that he was an off-duty cop working security the night that this happened, and the man who leaked it was fired. Whether or not this is true, I think it's safe to say you wouldn't want to be working security when something like this happens. Some people are afraid of nuns to some extent, so imagine how a nun spirit might terrify someone like that. The Ouija brothers entered the UK's most haunted nunnery in this scary video. Early in their investigation, they hear this spooky sound. I'm just walking, I'm just having a look if there's anyone there. There's a humming. The humming happens again shortly after. Oh, no, 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 the, the humming just happened again. Later, they hear something rustling very near them. It sounded like someone. See, there's like debris there on the floor. I don't know if it was like debris falling on the floor, but it was like movement. I don't know if something. Like something like that. Was that just some of the debris from the wall falling off? Or is someone invisible standing in this corner? Considering how spooky this place feels, I personally think a ghost nun is there. Say your prayers. There's a demon in the cellar in this video from Dark Ghost Paranormal. As Dennis is peering into a stone storage cellar, he first hears its moan. Back in the house, some terrifying sounds start to reverberate through his radio. And then, Dennis is confronted by something unseen. After that terrifying instance, this happens. Then whole pieces of furniture start to move. And it doesn't stop there. Oh. 
After Dennis tries to get out of there, he goes to pick up something off the ground. That's when all heck breaks loose. Later, Dennis leaves an infrared camera inside the house and heads outside. This is what he captures. Then this happens. You can literally see the demon on camera moving the crib and then breaking the wardrobe doors. What is this evil? All I know is, it's not something I'd want to encounter face to face. The passed on must be transported to their final resting place, and whether you realize it or not, sometimes you're traveling with them. Shared on Twitter by Mr. Creepy Posta, this scary video showing an apparent lifeless body in the cargo hold on a plane was originally posted on Reddit. The question is, why is this body not contained within a casket? Many in the comments are freaked out by this footage. Some refer to the 2008 Thai horror film Forbia, a film about the transportation of a princess's lifeless body by plane. This short clip, however, was not taken from the movie, and it's not clear if it's genuine or staged. I think it's real. What do you think? This family has been affected by dark magic for years. They believe it's witchcraft because they found unexplained earth crosses and voodoo dolls outside their home. This professional has come to release them from the bad energies. She starts by doing a ritual. ¿Estás bien? ¿Estás bien? Acá conmigo. ¿Estás bien? No la volteas a ver a ella. Acá conmigo. ¿Estás bien? ¿Quién eres? And then the ritual intensifies. ¿Quién eres? No, acá. Conmigo. Aquí conmigo. ¿Quién eres? Acá conmigo. Respira. Respira. ¿Estás acá conmigo? ¿Estás en piso? The victim is then released from the ropes. Voy a romper tus ataduras. Voy. Voy a romper lo que no permite que tú puedas seguir adelante. No. Te voy a cor cortar las ataduras. Te voy a liberar. Respira. Te voy a liberar. The woman then balances what looks like a glass of milk atop the possessed lady's head. No hay nada que te retenga. Tranquila. She becomes weaker. And it truly looks like something is possessing her. Tranquila. Whatever is haunting her is hurting her. Just 
This pair is connected somehow. <laughs> Tranquila. Tranquila. Respire. 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 <laughs> The woman tries to catch her breath calmly. Respire. No que. A ver, a ver, a ver. Acá, arriba conmigo. Aquí. Respire. Respire. Inhale y exhale. Despacito. Inhale y exhale. And then they both appear to be released from the spell. Hola. ¿Cómo estás? Aide. ¿Cómo estás? Regresa, 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 muñeca, regresa, regresa, regresa. I find this whole ritual intriguing. Not only are the steps involved interesting, but it seems to have worked. But will it last? I guess only time will tell. Ghost Club Paranormal is spending the night at a cursed witch's cabin in the middle of the forest. And you better believe that terror unfolds. While attempting to commune with the spirits, they hear them walking overhead. How many people are here? Do you hear that? The spirit then confirms its presence. Upstairs. If that was somebody trying to communicate, can you do that again? When they set up the spirit box, several paranormal devices are triggered. Oh, that light just came on. I just got it. <laughs> are you sitting over by the bar? Oh, oh, me too. They question the spirits and are answered. Did a man die here? And then the spirits start playing games. Let's uh, go downstairs again and we'll take this a little faster. Though. Hey. Well, <gasps> you did see that, right? Did you touch that? I didn't even touch it. Did, are you I me didn't, right I, didn't, I didn't touch it. Later, as one of the crew turns on the spirit box, the flashlight dims. I'm going to stick this on again real fast. The spirits are descending. But we have heard a man. And they continue to communicate through lights. What does that matter? Oh. Whoa. Second I put this on night vision, that flashlight just started going like crazy. And taps. Was that you that just touched my head? Tapping again. Is this the witch trying to get closer to them? Or one of the witch's victims? Things can get out of hand. This video reveals when people and things have gone just a little too far. Sometimes those darndest things send chills down our spine. This video will make you question the afterlife. Tariq Elite writes, A woman goes to her mother's grave to visit. Her little girl seems to be waving and talking to someone and even kisses them. What are you waving at, Liz? Bye, Chase. Bye bye. Yeah. Bye bye. Tariq goes on to ask if it's true that they can see into spiritual realms. The video shows a sweet girl, likely not older than two, standing near a headstone waving. She appears to be looking up into the nothingness but seeing something. She greets the invisible specter, standing on the top of the grave to get a better look. She even reaches with one pointed finger before dismounting from the grave. Some in the comments suggest that the young girl's frequency hasn't been fully compromised yet by the earth, while others say that our ancestors are always with us. Do you agree?
Our young one's able to visually access a frequency that we're not capable of reaching. This video seems to be proof that there really is something just beyond the veil. Paranormal Explorers Moxley of Moxley's Crazy Adventures and Dan of Nighthawk Exploring team up to explore an abandoned house so haunted that only two well-versed paranormal investigators such as themselves could ever hope to stand a chance against it. Known only as the Invisible House, the haunted place in the UK is host to ghastly figures and ghostly apparitions that will make your skin crawl as they reach out and brush by. While exploring the second floor, they pass by a small statue kneeling in prayer. The way it faces into the room makes me think it was left there to protect against something inside, a paranormal presence that doesn't want them in there exploring the abandoned house at all. Somewhere nearby a door closes all by itself, and when you slow down the video at 6 minutes and 4 seconds, there is a half-concealed outline of a pale ghost face in the window. Not knowing that they've already caught a ghost sighting on tape, they break out the K2 meter to get supernatural consent for their paranormal investigation to continue. Are you okay with myself and Moxley being here? Can you take it to the yellow or orange? Would you be okay if myself and Moxley used a spirit box in here? Give it a go. Mm -hmm. Give it a go. Thank you for that. Thank you for that. A chill passes over them, and just like the legends say, the ghost hunters hear and feel a presence brush by them both. They turn around to find this heavy cabinet door, which was open when they first came in, is now closed. They open and close the cabinet to see how heavy it is, and conclude that it is too heavy to close on its own from a gentle breeze. And get this. Every time they touch the cabinet door, a ghost orb angrily flies overhead. It happens three times and it's quite creepy. A scary video of paranormal investigation shows what kind of creepy stuff can happen when exploring abandoned places goes wrong. Dan of a paranormal investigation channel called Paranormal Encounters UK explores a haunted hotel that is a hotbed of paranormal activity. He explores the lobby and goes upstairs. Past a rope, he finds two empty glasses at the counter. Kind of like somebody was preparing to take their own life. Dan calls out to no one in particular and captures a ghost on camera that could be a bug. Hello? Next, he explores a room with lots of mysterious lights. The longer he stays, the more light seems to appear. He talks about how before becoming a haunted hotel, this place used to be a girls' school. So maybe there is a little ghost girl watching from the hallway. Nothing else happens until 18 minutes later when he explores a different room. This is the part of the paranormal investigation where he addresses anyone nearby directly. Does any spirits? There's any ghosts, anything in this room right now that wants to make contact with me. Only when he looks through the camera does he realize spooky ghost orbs have been following him all along. What reflection? Oh my god, spots are coming towards me then. Ghost orbs which fly into him repeatedly. If you believe in the paranormal, then you will probably see this as spirits attaching themselves to a living host. In other words, a possession. If you are a skeptic, then to you this is not a ghost sighting, merely dust. A YouTuber named Dachi YT is standing at the edge of an underground tunnel when something completely unexpected comes up running to him. <laughs> the real question is whether this is a friend playing a joke or if this is a creature that was once human.
The noise it makes sounds like someone struggling to make a sentence, so maybe this person has lost their minds or is even under the effects of a possession. The small steps it takes are creepy, and it's hard to tell if he's doing them involuntarily or on purpose. Lastly, its eyes glow in the dark despite a lack of light. I want to believe it's fake, but I think the glowing red eyes indicate otherwise. A YouTube channel called Proper Good Games is streaming Pokemon. When a game goes flying across the room off camera. I thought when people ate quail it was like eating a fancy. <laughs> They are both looking at each other and not moving at all when it happens, so it could not have been them. Then what she says next makes me feel like this happens all the time. Do you believe her? I'm not lying when I say ghost follow me around right. And when he goes to pick up the game, he lets out a gasp as the temperature into this part of the room suddenly grows very cold. Again, is this real or just good acting? It's really cold when it's Sure, it actually is. A man on a train awakes to find someone staring at him in a weird way. A ghost in the window to be precise. The pale figure doesn't move, supposedly locking eyes with the passenger, who at this point is beyond creeped out, feels watched, and thinks this is some scary stuff to wake up to. When zoomed in, it could be the reflection of something inanimate, though of what I'm not so sure. Whatever it is, the transparent outline of a face is still visible nonetheless. If you still can't see it, look on the right side of the window and you'll see a weird face with a long, narrow nose and all black eyes pressed against the glass. I assume the person who caught this on camera takes this train often and has never seen anything like this before. So what could this strange sighting be? A YouTuber named Dylan HD decides to explore an abandoned house with some friends. The home still has some furnishings, including a wall full of creepy paintings of children. The far end of the house is completely dark, and they are hesitant to explore this section. Finally, one of them bravely goes into the darkened corner and comes back shaken. He announces someone is looking at them through the window. Pay attention to the thin beam of light behind him during this clip, because that's the window he's referring to. What is that? So someone was at the window. Act. Someone was at the window. Was. It's gone really bright. Is the window off? No, it's it's the same. Oh! The thin beam of light silently extinguishes as the window is closed by whoever was on the other side. It's important to note that all three friends were close together when this happened. One could be seen on tape, the second was holding the camera, and the third could be heard directly to their right. The trio runs screaming out of the house and never looks back. This 1994 video footage was recovered somewhere in the South American country of Paraguay. The footage itself is just some kids hanging out together late at night, but the audio is completely messed up and sounds like something straight out of the underworld. More than one viewer has said they've heard subliminal messages from this video which is little more than a series of five second clips pasted together. At one point, we see a disjointed figure standing in a strange pose, followed by this deep noise. I guess the sound could be distortion from an aged tape, but in my opinion, it almost sounds like a possession at times. Let me know if you agree that there's something sinister about this video, and if any of these kids could have had a spirit lurking inside of them. Buckle your seatbelts. Posted to the Chills Narrator subreddit, this video is apparently forbidden in most countries, and it's clear why. The footage shows two lit up objects in the sky. They're both moving slightly, with one of them moving a bit faster than the other and in different directions. The lights blink as the unidentified flying device on the bottom moves up towards the one above it. Suddenly, they fuse and it sends a shockwave through the sky, like a bolt of lightning. What in the heck just happened here? The uploader stumbled across the freaky forbidden video in the summer of 2018. 
Some think it's most likely a clip from an indie movie. Redditor the lovely raven 313 points out, if this actually happened, the media would be on it. Many agree with this sentiment. While some are willing to suspend their disbelief, when asked what it is, the Redditor admits he doesn't know. That's why I'm posting this to try and solve the mystery, he writes. Can you solve the mystery? I'm at a loss here. Ever wondered what goes on in a pharmacy late at night? Well, apparently it's wilder than you think. Egyptune published this creepy video in January of 2015. It's footage that will make you swear off pharmacies for a good long while. The green hue and flashing monitor on the desk are spooky enough to set the scene. Then the action begins. A white chair in the office starts to move all of its own accord, jerking to the left, then being lifted right up into the air before landing back down on the floor. It pulls slowly to the right, then yanks to the left again. A little later, something gaseous spurts out below, leaving black marks in the footage. Some in the comments of the video say this footage has been edited, or suggest the chair is being jerked around with strings. But maybe, just maybe, someone wasn't given the right prescription, and his ghost is seeking revenge. I, for one, hope he gets it. Nothing like a good legend to call up some creepy videos. Posted by YouTuber Leonardo Martinez in January of 2016. The video is entitled El Pombero and El Dorado Misones Real. What is El Pombero? According to Latin American legend, the mythological gnome like figure is rife in the Paraguayan forest but can be found across southern Brazil, Argentina, and Paraguay. Pombero is mainly seen at night in rural areas and forests. Holding up in sheds and abandoned structures, he likes to mimic bird sounds, and the inexplicable chirping of birds is said to indicate that Pombero is near. If anyone so much as speaks Pombero's name out loud, he will harass them. Now that you know the myth, let's take a look at this video, which claims to have caught live action footage of the creature. Filmed in the forest, a group of folks are wandering through the trees when, off to the side, something that looks like a short stump starts to move. The figure hobbles in an uncanny way, leaning on a crutch. Needless to say, the people rush off in fear. It certainly looks jarring and uncannily real. If you live in Paraguay, I guess it's time to hide. You don't want to cross paths with this mischief maker. Imagine you saw a flicker of something out of the corner of your eye. And that something turned out to be a scary encounter that would haunt your dreams. YouTuber All Around Lifestyle published this video in May of 2016 explaining, We just got done exploring a huge abandoned car park. And as we were leaving, I spotted something yellow laying on the ground. But when he told his friends he'd seen something, they were doubtful. He started going down again, he wrote. And this time someone or something started shouting at us. What was this someone or something? A potentially crazy person who started screaming at the boys. A sound you wouldn't expect to hear coming out of a human being. And like they said, they hightailed it out of there. Frightened, they raced to the roof of the building as fast as they could. Thankfully, no one was harmed in the making of this video. YouTuber Steven G faced a very common fear in this video. Someone secretly living in their house. He says that a couple years ago, he discovered a person living in his basement, in a closet under a table and a pile of bicycles. Surprisingly, the squatter had been living there for three months without ever being detected. Well already, this is creepy enough, but wait, it gets even creepier. Steve leads viewers from the front door of what appears to be an apartment building to his apartment, showing viewers where a stairway leads upstairs to the second and third floors. There is a random door to the side of this stairway with a window above. He notes that the door doesn't have a knob. He said that he just noticed the window yesterday, even though he's been living in this building for three years. So naturally, he broke in unlocking the window for a search, and what he found was pretty terrifying. A makeshift bed appears in this random storage closet. 
The bed is a simple pile of blankets and a pillow, situated on a mezzanine of sorts, that sits above the below door. There are also boxes in the corner, and what appears to be a key laying off to the side. In part two of the video series, Steve manages to loop what he thinks is a key with a ski pole, but discovers it's just a keychain. In part four of the video series, as some YouTube comments duly note, the sheets that were originally on the bed are now folded and set on top of it. Other YouTubers note a clownish-looking face appears in the bottom right-hand corner of the window towards the end of the video. Yikes. Steve also says that he confronted the landlord about the space, which is obviously being lived in, and the landlord made a joke about it, saying that when he gets in a fight with his wife, he lays low in this secret room. I don't know what's creepier, a secret squatter or a landlord using this space for his own man cave in your home. We may have just discovered the soundtrack to your nightmares. Published to YouTube by Colome in June of 2019, this clip shows a young man in a prison cell, no context given. He speaks to the camera and, in the midst of his monologue, he gives a strange, otherworldly shriek like a velociraptor. <laughs> Why? Well, YouTubers have a wealth of hypotheses. For example, Lord Woody thinks that the man is sucking the soul out of the cameraman. I just know if I were in this situation, I'd be getting the heck out of there. Are you willing to risk your life for a thrill? Before you put on your hiking shoes, watch this video of Huashan Mountain, published to YouTube in June of 2018. An unsubstantiated rumor is that the mountain takes 100 lives annually, and after watching this footage, it certainly seems plausible. Pedro writes, Once you are going up the mountain, there is not much protection for you. One of the most difficult parts of the hike is the cliffside plank walk. You are quite literally walking the plank, hanging on to the side of a mountain peak for dear life. Pedro notes that it's one of the mountain's most popular attractions, and there's often a three or more hour queue to walk the plank, as you can see in the video. When Pedro arrives at the plank, he's one among many climbers hanging onto a rusty old chain as they take their precarious steps along the piece of broken wood. A 7,070 foot drop lies below. Pedro says some people take off their harness in order to capture better photos, hence the risk of the mountain. Climbing the mountain is enough of a risk, makes you wonder, is a photo really worth your life? On September 24th, 2016, Corey McKeague went missing around the area of Bury St. Edmunds and Suffolk, England. This CCTV footage published in October of 2016 to YouTube by hashtag FindCorey shows the serviceman's last known movements. From one angle, he is seen somewhere meandering down the road, not walking a straight line. He passes two men and appears to drop something on the ground, which he quickly picks up before continuing on. Another camera view shows him walking casually around a corner with his hands in his pockets. The town center footage shows McKeague enter a cul-de-sac with wheelie bins in it. This is where he was last seen. His mobile phone was tracked from this cul-de-sac to a landfill. At first, the police weren't planning to search for the missing man there, as the garbage truck along that route was only estimated to be carrying 33 pounds. Later, however, they discovered the weight was around 220 pounds. The 2.1 million euro investigation has not yet turned up Corey, although authorities believe that the missing man was crushed by a garbage can and that his passed away body is somewhere in the landfill, and some theories suggest foul play, but regardless, his disappearance remains a mystery. The search for Corey McKeague continues. A TikToker called Upbeat Yamaha is traveling a normal speed and is surprised when this truck abruptly pulls over to let him pass, then begins to mysteriously speed up to follow him. 
Upbeat Yamaha gets paranoid and pulls over in a neighborhood to watch the white car pass, but when he pulls out in the main road, the white truck slows down and deliberately pulls over again. Okay, now what is this truck seriously doing? Nothing looks wrong with his car, so for some reason he must be watching this biker. Now he is getting freaked out at this point and pulls over one more time, but as you can see the truck stays at a stop sign and refuses to turn until he goes first. This part confirms to me at least that the truck is absolutely following him and not going to give up anytime soon. The vehicle keeps appearing in the strangest of places, and I personally think upbeat Yamaha should have called the authorities at this point, but he doesn't and is eventually followed to where he lives. The police later show up at his house because for some reason his bike was reported as missing. It was almost certainly the man in the white truck who called it in. Though why he thought the bike was taken to begin with, let alone felt compelled to follow someone all the way to their home, is something this video cannot explain. If you encountered ghost footprints at your workplace, would you be able to continue working there as though nothing happened? Published to YouTube by Korean channel Saiwon Yoon in April of 2020, the uploader writes, The footprints of ghosts caught by the CCTV in the recording studio. The surveillance footage shows a recording studio at night. After capturing an odd glitch on camera in a certain area of the studio, which the uploader notes look like footprints, the crew sets up some paranormal sensors to see whether or not any spirit activity exists in the room. As you can see, the sensors are blowing up. They indicate something is moving in the darkness. Imagine sensing a paranormal presence in the studio, something you cannot see with the human eye, and then having that presence confirmed via these sensors. The idea certainly disturbs some sound technicians. YouTuber Hyun Sik Woo wrote in the comments, I was also surprised when I watched the video. I can't broadcast alone. I can't go to the studio at night. Would you be able to after seeing this? Because this footage appears real to me. What do you see here? Posted to the paranormal video subreddit, redditor upstairs bicycle 1721 wants some sort of explanation for this mysterious clip. Let's take a look. The mysterious vertical rods hover side by side in front of the camera for a moment before one of them takes off and disappears out of sight. The second figure slowly drifts right until it's out of frame. Nearly everyone in the comments is perplexed by this video. Although I don't think this is a spider web either, I don't have any rational ideas as to what they could be. Do you have an explanation? 30 year old Alexa was returning to her Bronx home in University Heights when she got that feeling in the pit of her stomach. She detailed what happened to her in a Twitter thread in September of 2018 noting that she wrote the thread to warn women in her neighborhood to be aware that this person is out there. Alexa said she was returning home by Uber at 3.50 a.m., heading to the lobby of her building, when she got a strange feeling that she wasn't alone, as she suspected, and the building security footage confirmed she wasn't. A man had followed her through the courtyard outside and quickened his pace to enter the lobby right behind her. Alexa notes in the thread that she didn't see or hear the man watching her. When she was in the lobby, she realized there was a figure hovering outside the front door, waiting in the first entryway. She decided to double check the door locked behind her. She turned to the door to shut and lock it and noticed he had his foot on the corner, ensuring the door didn't close after she entered. She notes that the man likely intended to confront her outside the building, which is why he didn't enter the lobby all the way, or he was waiting for her to head toward her apartment so he could run after her and force his way in. Don't worry, he didn't have a chance. Alexa shut the door, moving his foot out of the way to do so. Unfortunately, the suspect had a scarf wrapped around his face to ensure he wouldn't be identified by security cameras. She notes that drivers should always wait until their passengers reach their front door safely. In her case, the Uber driver left when she got out of the vehicle. 
Alexa also remarks that, without the security footage to back her claim, her story would undoubtedly have been questioned and disbelieved. These stories should always be listened to and heard, and above all, as Alexa did, always trust your gut. A TikToker named Sydney Carpenter is convinced that her Snapchat filter is detecting not one, but two nearby faces. I don't think anything on this table or wall looks like a face, so I don't think it's a glitch. She tells it to stick its tongue out if it can hear her, and it does after a moment's hesitation. I don't think it's a coincidence, but watch this part for yourself and tell me. Stick your tongues out if you can see me. Do a bit. Yo, there's two of them. <gasps> Later on, it appears in a totally different place than last time. Like before, the Dalmatian appears to give the answer that yes, it is in fact up to no good. Are you good? Are you bad? She starts speaking to the remaining dog, and upon being asked if it was good, it disappears instantly. Are you good? Disappeared. Which I guess stands for no. There's just way too many strange interactions like this one that makes sense for me to ignore. A man is asleep when his curtains draw back in a way that looks more like an invisible hand than the wind. Shortly thereafter, a round white object that could be a head lingers around the bottom of the window and appears to gaze in. Next, a bizarre triangular object flies up in a blur directly over his sleeping form. It could be a ghost or it could be an insect. If you thought the curtains moving in the beginning was just the wind, then how do you explain this portion of the covers moving under his bed shortly before the video ends? It looks like something is crawling up next to him, but we never get to see its true form. This is one of those videos that is either completely real or scripted with no in-between. The problem is I'm not sure which. These Snapchat videos were taken days after YouTuber. Miss Brown 070809 and her co-worker decide to summon a spirit at her job for fun. She has felt constantly watched ever since. Maybe it's just a glitch, but the timing and movement of these Snapchat videos is a little too coincidental at times. It really does seem as if a spirit is responding to her without delay like here for example. Friend, where are you? I want to see you. Please. Look at how the ghost actually appears at eye level and follows the movement of a colleague. It's here, dancing with Fidan. <laughs> <laughs> and when she pluralizes the word friend, more of them seem to come out of nowhere. Friends, I need to say goodbye. Oh my god, you brought so many friends here, what the f I find it odd that multiple faces appear after she says friends. I'm not saying that these absolutely have to be spirits, but the timing is undeniably strange at the very least. A dinner date goes wrong and leads to a public freakout at the movie somewhere in Mexico. The girl with curly hair stands over her boyfriend as they continue to argue, and he gets up in return. She throws her popcorn down and looks ready to leave, and she kind of does in a way, but not at all how you would expect her to. Translate what is being said here if you can. I still hear her speaking directly in front of him, and then she is gone. Her form is replaced by a strange man with dark hair who looks around and takes off. Strangely enough, he appears to be wearing the same clothes as her, a white shirt and tan jacket. Meanwhile, she is nowhere to be found. The camera angle misses what happens off screen, but people are saying this could be a shapeshifter in action. The boyfriend apparently passes out from the surprise of seeing this metamorphosis, and everyone runs out of the theater in unison. The amateur video left behind real enough, but the whole situation seems entirely impossible. So what do you think? A gut feeling, a sensation is almost worse than the reality itself. Say you're alone in the forest, the hair stands up on the back of your neck, you get the sensation that something is watching you. What do you do? Druid Raven Scout published this video in August of 2015, explaining this very scenario. Well, he packed up his bags to leave the forest. He said he felt something that he couldn't explain, a gut feeling that something or someone was following him. He said he felt threatening sensations as he walked the path over a couple of hours. 
He had planned on staying in the forest another night, but his intuition was telling him not to. During the 18 minute video, he explains that he feels like he's being observed. He also says he heard something strange up in the trees as he walked the path earlier. He does manage to escape the forest without meeting his stalker, but not without shaking the feeling that something certainly was watching. This rare footage of a sewer monster is brief, but frightening. The video seems to capture a glimpse of something large with a tail, launching around the underground. The black and white adds to the creepiness of the footage, when suddenly something the size of a kangaroo moves swiftly past and out of sight. Although not quite as unsettling in movement as a creepy critter might be, whatever this strange being is, it looks completely out of place in the sewage system. Any idea what this strange creature could be? If you fear snakes, you might want to hide under the covers for this one. YouTuber Falcon X-Ray published this footage in November of 2015 with the description, just started cleaning the pool for summer, came home and found a snake having a swim cooling down from the heat. The snake looks to be about 4 feet long and is quite thick. The snake is shown circling the pool's edge, probably trying to find its way out. Once or twice it does creep its head up the wall of the pool, but it doesn't make it very far. While the snake's slithering movements in the water are creepy enough, one wonders if this breed is poisonous. What kind of snake is it? Whatever the monster is. The uploader said that he built a cage and kept it. Don't know if I'd want to keep that thing in my home, but I'm sure he's happy with his new pet. Published in April 2017 by Steve Cody, this video allegedly shows a ghost haunting a swimming pool. In the description, Steve writes, I noticed my camera picked up motion around my pool about a week ago. After midnight, I watched the whole video with my wife, and there's a ghost or something floating over the pool. He said it lingered there for several minutes. The video does in fact show a light floating over his dark swimming pool at night. It just hovers in the top right corner of the screen, bouncing back and forth a bit. So what is it? A luminous ghost? A ghost holding something luminous? Whatever it is, don't go in the water. Some super creepy moments caught on home security video have left a man in India wondering if there is something wrong with his camera or the neighborhood at large. Let's help him decide if this strange activity is paranormal. A loud motorcycle goes by his house twice so he looks at the security video, which looks fairly normal at first until you notice there's actually no motorcycle and barely the phantom image of a rider. Yeah. The second time it goes by is extra creepy, because it seems to dissolve away even more and yet the headlights are on the entire time, which could be proof that this paranormal activity is more than just a glitch. Scary scratching from within the basement should alarm anyone. Some would call for help while others would grab their phone. Not for help, but to make sure whatever's down there is caught on camera. That's what two roommates do after one hears noises in a hidden crawl space of their home. It could have been anything though. Nah, I heard. I was scared, man. I heard noises. Oh, move this. Move this way. Scary cat, dude. It could have been rats or whatever. What about it? We got a whole bunch of rats. The one who hasn't heard the noises is brave. The one who has is scared. Are you going down there? I'm not. There's a light right there, dude. You go down there while I record. There's no way he's going down into the creepy basement crawl space after hearing eerie sounds, so his roommate volunteers to show him up. Like the light right there, the string. It's around here somewhere. Hold up. Oh, I can't reach. I can't reach. I think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. Dude. He squints in the darkness, and that's when he finds the scariest thing of his life. Hold up. 
Oh shit! First time. One minute and 27 seconds is when I can barely make out a shadow figure straightening up to greet him. He's screaming and the video ends before we get to see if he escapes from the crawl space before it reaches him. The man sees a ghost hiding in his basement according to the title of this video, but I'm not so sure the supernatural is what he's caught on camera. Something scary is in his basement crawl space for sure, but think about it. Can't reach, I got, think I gotta step on that chair. There's a chair right here. To me. Why would there be a chair positioned directly under his crawl space entrance? Unless somebody has been using it to climb into their home. I don't think this is a ghost haunting the basement. I think this is an insanely scary stranger encounter caught on video. Anyway, that's my analysis. But what do you make of this strange sighting? Scary Surreal Places and Time Lapse is a YouTube channel that speeds up raw footage of odd and interesting locations in search of anything out of the ordinary. They are recording a pure at random when this strange creature comes rushing towards them. I would say this is just a fish, but the animal clearly starts on land and paddles to them before submerging at the last second. They shine their lights around both sides of the pier, but whatever it was is long gone. The animal is very small, but the wide wake left in its path suggests that it's much more powerful than it seems. Leave me your best guess as to what this could be, because even the uploaders of this video have never seen anything move like it before, and they themselves are not sure what it was. This video is also posted on my Chills Narrator subreddit by a user named Bboars. Whenever they find themselves at this particular highway intersection, their Lexus starts beeping out of control. Okay, this intersection, it always happens here. These innovative car sensors are designed to alert the driver when someone is in front of the car. No one is anywhere near them, but here you see both of the yellow arrows are lit, meaning it detects someone straight ahead. Seconds later, you can see the right arrow is on, which means that someone is now moving to the right. I just wanted to stress that this never happens at any other intersections, only this one. And according to Bboars, this event has occurred four times in the past two years alone. With this evidence in mind, this intersection could definitely be the haunting ground of someone who didn't make it across the road in one piece. A YouTube channel called Exploring with Danny is checking out a chapel cemetery that is so haunted, they only feel comfortable approaching by day. They have all been here before, but this time they are disappointed to find that commercial locks are in place and that everything looks to be boarded up. Still, they are determined to get inside and they keep moving along the perimeter, searching for another way in. After a while, the camera person feels watched and makes the mistake of looking up. Now, how come you not getting through them boards, eh? Watching over them is a frowning pale figure with solid black eyes. I guess this could be one of their friends, but given the new measures taken to keep trespassers out, I don't see how this is possible. You would think that they would run at such a sight, but this encounter only makes them more determined to bust a new way inside, which they eventually do. They soon reach the interior steps and feel watched again. The figure is staring back at them from above once more, perhaps twice as displeased to learn they've gained entrance. This time, they all duck into a room and watch it silently pass. The thing retreats down a long hallway, but when Danny follows, it's the last glimpse any of them get of it before scattering. It's a rainy day in Bradford, Pennsylvania, and a YouTuber named Bulldog is with his girlfriend in the backyard. They are taking random videos and talking about nothing in particular when they encounter something that makes them think they are not so alone after all. Whoa, that was weird. I just saw something run across the screen. Liar. Some sort of smoke or mist appears to briefly transform into the shape of a person, taking a few brisk steps and then fully dissipates. Bulldog says it looked like someone who is running, and I agree that it does resemble the upper torso and shoulders of someone in motion. With that said, it looks to me like the figure may also be lacking a head. Downright Dives is a three-man team of dumpster divers who go through the trash looking for discarded valuables. 
They comb through a series of dumpsters without incident, mostly coming across old rotten food. They're searching through the last couple of dumpsters when one of them makes a startling discovery. No, 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 no. Moved in there, guys. Guys, guys, guys. Moved in there. I'm not even joking. I'm not even joking. Neither of his two friends believe that there could have been somebody lying at the bottom of the dumpster. They just have to take a closer look for themselves. That box right there just moved. I'm not even joking. That one. That one. The camera doesn't get a clean shot, but you can hear a man pop up from underneath the boxes and screams that he owns everything inside of the dumpster. According to the description, it was a homeless man who continued to come after them and even got into a physical altercation off camera. I'm on the fence with this one since we never get a chance to see the homeless person in question. Also, living in a dumpster is a stereotype about homeless people that is rarely true, so this encounter is very unlikely. Let me know if you agree. The Chernobyl power plant left this place covered in radiation in 1986. Only recently was a small part reopened for tourism in 2011. The rest is still too radiated and therefore off limits. Russian YouTuber Vlad Reznov wants to test these limits. He goes exploring the woods and finds an old abandoned cottage that would be perfect for a 24 hour challenge. Night falls, roving clicks are rumored to be out here. Families aggressively changed by radiation who don't like outsiders, and they know he's here. They can't get inside because he's tied the doorknob to the bedpost, so they can't go around the outside. <laughs> now is his chance. He opens the door while they are trying to get in through a window. Not sure if there is more waiting for him inside and expecting to get jumped around every corner. The bike is outside. He has to get to his bike. He makes it out of there, but there is an overall lack of urgency to this video that makes me think it could be fake. We don't ever get to see this mutant family, so it could be one of his friends opening the door. They probably found an abandoned house and thought it would be a good place for a scary video, but I guess we'll never know for sure. Clay of a paranormal YouTube channel called Time to Play TV is exploring the old Hamilton County Jail in Jasper, Florida on a ghost hunting investigation. Built in 1893, this haunted jail was in operation for 101 years. It is the resting place of many who are believed to have returned as wailing apparitions, slamming doors shut and turning on the lights. Some sections have been remodeled, and this guest bedroom is where you'll find a creepy possessed doll. As they are moving the creepy doll from its crib to the bed, a bizarre shadow goes ahead of them and disappears under the bed. Anyway, they sit her up and set up paranormal equipment to better investigate, and that's when the situation goes from strange to beyond creepy. 4 minutes and 27 seconds into the video is when they are able to convince a ghost to communicate through EVP equipment. Are you okay with us being in this room right now? Yes. 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 Another yes. Yeah. I don't think these EVPs are pre-recorded messages on a fake ghost hunting app because the scary voices continue to make sense and answer very specific questions in real time. Do you know who we are? Like, can you tell us our names? Yeah. Yeah. A little ghost girl's voice says something I can't understand. And as the creepy doll moves by itself, the scary voice of a little ghost girl screams right before the doll falls over. Oh my gosh. The doll just That's down. been up for her. They sit the cursed toy upright and resume the paranormal experiment. If that was a spirit, can you make one of the uh, meters go off? Oh, whoa, whoa. Seen it? 
What? I'll look at my meter. Many of the paranormal EVP they've caught on camera has been the voice of a child, so they logically infer that this could be a spirit of a child trapped inside of the doll. Are you a young spirit? Are you a child? Look, you see that? Somehow the doll creepily nods with agreement that it's possessed by a little girl, and then it presents them with some of the best paranormal evidence of the night. Well, I'm pretty sure that was you uh, that maybe moved the doll and did the K2 meter. Now we'd like to. Whoa! <laughs> oh my! The K2 meter just fell over. <laughs> Somehow, upon the very mention of her paranormal equipment, her ghost meter, which is right by the doll's hand, falls over on its own, but the doll remains sitting up. Whatever this is, I think it's definitely paranormal and feeding off of their fearful energy. Oh my god, this is so creepy. Whoa, okay. <laughs> This time they put the doll leaning back at an angle where it's impossible for it to fall forward by itself and yet as they continue to speak, the toy leans forward and turns towards them as if making eye contact. Who's making that doll move? Is that I am? The more they talk, the stronger it becomes and after a while the doll is falling clear off the bed. It's too bad that we couldn't get a wider angle to prove that the ghost hunters weren't touching anything when it fell over. I feel like Clay could have ran his hand under the pillow to make it fall over, but they sound genuinely surprised so I doubt it. Also, this final piece of paranormal evidence is enough proof in my mind that the Hamilton County Jail is quite haunted. They wait for their equipment to register movement and get nothing until they challenge it. Don't be shy or scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. Oh! That works a lot. Oh my gosh. Whoa. <laughs> I think this is real because if you listen close, it beeps as soon as he says the word scared. Maybe you're scared and you don't want to do it because you're scared. Mm -hmm. Oh! Another dog with something to prove. Posted to YouTube by It's Just Mars in March of 2012, the uploader writes that her dog does this most nights. The clip shows the dog on high alert for five minutes, growling, barking, and whining. At the end of the video, the uploader says that the closet door just opened on its own. The dog appears very upset by this and is pacing around the bed. I really think that the dog was right about everything. There's something unseen in this house. Another momentous visual history caught on live TV. The powerful image of the toppling of the Saddam statue in Firdo Square was broadcast all over the world, signaling what the Bush administration hoped would appear to be the end of what he started. Mission accomplished. Only, their involvement went on until December 18th, 2011, so not quite accomplished at that point. The moment was one of the scariest and most powerful caught on live TV. Iraqi civilians, some of whom theorists believe were paid, and US troops came together to tackle the imperialistic statue, marking what was supposed to be a symbolic moment in the lives of many Iraqi citizens. On international TV, it looked to be a moment of spontaneity. As it turns out, it wasn't as it seemed. According to investigations on the matter, tight focus shots used by the media suggested that the square was packed. When it wasn't, most in the crowd were also not Iraqi, but rather, Marines and journalists. Moreover, the flag and sledgehammer were supplied by the US. The act was not as spontaneous as it was reported. The footage suggested that all of Baghdad was enthusiastic of the toppling of Saddam, but this suggestion was inaccurate. According to Peter Mass, a journalist who was at Firdo Square on the day, they were ready to latch onto a symbol of what they believed would be a joyous finale. It was an unfortunate fusion, a preconception of what would happen, of what victory would look like, connected at Firdo Square with an aesthetically perfect representation of that preconception. 
Despite the illusionary nature of this event, this scary and iconoclastic visual is one of the most impactful caught on live TV. Watch any episode of the reality TV series, Most Haunted, and you're likely to see some paranormal events occur. After all, haunting is in the title, but one episode in particular seems to show the first ghost caught on camera in the 15 year history of the show, in which paranormal investigators pick over haunted sites. The episode in question was filmed at South Yorkshire's Wentworth Woodhouse, built in 1725. The private country house was forgotten in the 20th century and is often called the greatest historic house that nobody has ever heard of. The ghost appears in the form of a man strolling through a dark corridor. Come on, if you hit, if you hit, what, what's that? What's that? There. I can, Carl, I can see it there. Go for it, go for it. Oh. I'm, I'm right oh. behind you, I'm right behind you. Carl, look, get your torch. The show's host, Yvette Fielding, called it the most groundbreaking footage we have ever recorded. But rather than giving us the answer we were looking for, it just gave us more questions. Many claim the footage was faked, while others said it supported the hypothesis that ghosts walk among us, but the cameraman, Carl Beatty, reaffirms that this was, in fact, real. We have never seen anything like this before. We really don't have an explanation for what we saw, he said, but the replay of the filming clearly shows the vision in detail. Spooky stuff caught on live TV. Published by Colby and Ari in January of 2009, the description claims that this lost tape was discovered and shown with permission from the government to warn others. The tape features some teenage boys going to explore their school's basement. As they say, strange noises have been heard coming from the basement. An urban legend has it that a former student dwells there. Soon, they would discover the truth. After the boys wander around in the semi-darkness, they hear a rasping breath of an inhuman creature, and then they see it. <laughs> the creature on all fours attacks. The boys flee, but the footage rolls on. What could it be? A true beast or a student film gone horribly wrong? The audio of this dashcam video will haunt you. At around noon in October 2014, in Indianapolis, Indiana, a woman was sitting in her car outside an office building with a dashcam recording in process. In the video, a person can be seen walking past her vehicle wearing a strange mask, while the footage only shows one individual. According to the woman, there were five of them total out of sight. You can hear the woman laughing as she asks the group where they got their masks. But soon she learns that this isn't a joke as they smash out her windows and rob her. <laughs> The woman was pulled out of her vehicle by her hair and thrown on the ground by a woman in a face mask and camo jacket. The attacker then took the woman's cell phone and purse. It seems this wasn't the group's first attack of the day. They were also charged with breaking the window of a moving car. Looks like we're not even safe sitting in a parking lot. Who would win in a swamp fight? A deer or an alligator? You're about to see. Published by Hazy Season in June of 2019. This scary video was captured at Squaw Creek Reservoir in Glen Rose, Texas. At first, the fisherman thinks he's looking at a huge fish. Look at those. What is that? Is that a dead fish? But as he gets closer, he realizes it's a deer in the water. The deer is no longer alive and it's being pulled down into the water's depths. Looks like a deer, dude. It's a dead deer. Holy sh By something that is so far unseen, the crew is wondering what's gotten hold of it. They watch for a moment and soon realize a gator's got him. They then let nature take its course. Dude, what happened? Did it just like fall down this hill? Holy, holy. 
Although we probably all could have guessed that the Gator would win this battle, I'm sure we were all rooting for the underdog. Do you want to play a game? Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by responsible at 8836. This guard in Mexico often hears noises at night while on watch. He recorded this one while on patrol. While walking the grounds at night, he heads around the building when what looks like a man's head pops out from around the corner. The guard chases it around the corner, but there's nothing there. The Redditor also posted a frame-by-frame -frame video to better see the figure. Many in the comments are clearly surprised. Some point out there are no feet, while others suggest it's a grey extraterrestrial. Still, others say it looks like it's playing a game. Do you want to play? I suggest that guard heads back in the other direction. This is some of the most convincing footage I've seen in a while. Posted to the Ghosts subreddit by AMRV underscore 5, this poltergeist activity left this resident with more questions than answers. The Redditor explains that she's been living in this apartment with two roommates for months, and they've noticed that nothing seems to stay on the walls, from pictures to posters. Due to the home's age, they thought that a lack of insulation and drafts were causing tape and sticky tack not to stay put. After being gifted some original artwork, they put some framed pictures up on the walls with nails, but the very first night, both of the frames fell from the wall. This happened a couple of nights in a row. One night, one of the pictures started moving slightly, so the Redditor broke out her camera and captured this. The video shows the frame moving, just as they'd witnessed before. It happened several times, and then the rolling chair swivels around. No one is near it. The Redditor pleads, can anyone tell me what this is? What's going on here? While some in the comments think there must be fishing line involved, some are suggesting that perhaps an air vent came on. There is, in fact, a vent up in the corner of the room. Still, others think it could possibly be a paranormal entity. A second video seems to suggest it's the latter. In the video, the Redditor does a vent test to see if the heating cycle is causing any sort of disturbance to the frame. As she's standing there waiting for the heater to come on, a loud disturbance is heard outside her room. <laughs> She heads over to investigate and finds a boot thrown on a stair below. As she's looking around, another loud bang is heard from back in her room. When she returns, the frame has fallen from the wall onto her desk. She notes that the air has not come on yet. While Redditors are convinced by the second video, Many are agreeing with then safety 5971 who writes, If it's fake, you still got me. What do you think? I can't think of any explanations outside of the paranormal. The call is coming from inside the house. Posted to TikTok by Old Fogey John. You can hear the fear in this man's breathing as he moves around his home. And you'll soon see why. As the man turns around the corner, a mysterious, psychotic head sticks out sideways from a hallway, leading down some stairs. The psycho face is looking right at the resident. The angle of his head is so odd it's uncanny. As the mysterious stranger watches, the resident lets out a gasp of pure, unadulterated fear. <laughs> While well, some in the comments are telling the TikToker to run for the hills, others are suggesting why this man might have shown up. Mayhem Mayhem writes, When your neighbor finds out you changed your Wi-Fi password, if that's the case, you better give him the new password. <laughs> Uh, 
on 3830 McMahon Road sits a lone white house which at first glance looks rather unassuming, but is actually a source of otherworldly evil. A place so foul that not even two separate exorcisms could fully cleanse its walls. Over 800 Native Americans are said to have lost their lives in the surrounding hills against federal forces, many of whom are thought to be buried under the Hinsdale House, fueling its foundations with anger. And that's just the beginning. Sometime in the 1800s, two outlaw brothers used this New York property as their sick trophy room. They would go after stagecoaches and left behind no witnesses. The bodies were mostly kept in the attic or left in the basement without a care. Outside, more lives were taken over the years at a pond and also at an old tree at just the right height for a rope, which was later struck by lightning. Nowadays, the heavily haunted Hinsdale House has become a location for ghost hunters like John and Amanda of Elevated Vlogs to explore whatever secrets lie within. John and Amanda are amateur ghost hunters without much paranormal experience, so their reactions are about as raw as it gets. Their night begins with a tour from the house's current owner, a man named Daniel Clays, who spared this house from getting demolished in 2015. He seems to have formed a truce with the spirits in return for saving them. The way he talks about his experiences, the more activity their camera catches around him. There's definitely something that's sinister, maybe darker, that comes out once in a while. But you, your best thing is to just ignore it and move on and go do something else. We were just standing in the kitchen and we had a camera on ourselves and, and uh, they were talking about the exorcism this, exorcism that. And Daniel leaves them to explore the house on their own. And just kind of do a little explore before we sit down anywhere. And Did you hear that? They also hear this noise, the sound someone makes with a hand over their mouth. But he said he has experienced somewhat of a something dark here. Experience, experience. They enter the room of Mary Dandy, the youngest daughter of a family who lived here during the 1970s, and find bugs on their backs, legs up an odd characteristic that the room has become known for. An entity has attached itself here, something foul enough to attract flies and send them lifelessly to the floor without its presence. Or maybe these flies were placed here by Daniel to fool John and Amanda. Either way, the activity only seems to increase ever since standing in Mary's room. I think something runs ahead of them down the stairs into the basement. Maybe the final steps of someone trying to get away during a terrible event. Most people that check this place out will come with a team. Oh yeah, I'll go down first so you can show them this really cool... Did you hear that? What was that? And when they try to communicate with it, a scared little girl's voice comes across the airwaves. Are you okay with us staying here tonight? They decide to head back into Mary's room. Again, their spirit box picks up the same crying girl as before. Are you okay with us being in this room? Can we sit here? And this is the third time they pick up her voice. Definitely the same girl the whole time. Are we safe? She's following them from room to room, and maybe behind her is the sinister force that Daniel warned them to stay away from. They decided to check out the attic before they get too scared. Remember what I said about the attic earlier? Sure enough, John feels a strong hand wrap his arm to pull him forward, followed by a supernatural confirmation from a gruff male voice. Dude, I'm not even playing, man. Did someone touch John's arm? Like, no lie, it felt like there was just something wrapped, like a, a, a... Dude, that sounded like, yeah. They flee downstairs to regroup and find they can no longer leave. Something's outside. John! Oh my I god. I literally heard something outside. I'm not even messing around. Dude. Did you hear that, dude? No, I know. It sounded like metal tanging. I don't hear it, but I do see it. Look again, it's a ghost caught on live stream. And even though I didn't hear it earlier, I do hear chains rattling during this part when they get closer to the door. What 
What's that noise? There's nothing left to do but wait it out in the Hinsdale house. After a night of fitful sleep, they decide to explore the hillside before getting out of there fast. They're still afraid from yesterday's events, but it's their job as paranormal investigators to keep going no matter what. So with their spirit box out, they wander into the woods. Within minutes, they record a voice. I hear three words, I need help. Then they hear a familiar voice, the same one responsible for grabbing John's arm in the attic. We're coming into the darker part of the woods here. Would somebody like to speak with us? Oh. Yep. That was definitely a male voice. And this part is either Amanda's voice edited in, or else somebody is humming a creepy tune right next to John. The forest is dark and cold. I agree with John that this is a different language. We're in the middle of the woods. There's no, there's no uh, electrical. Dis they come to a part of the woods that's particularly eerie for no reason at all. It's just a feeling they both have. That's when they realize the reason for their fears could not be directly underfoot. Did you die here? The thought of communicating with the other side has always made me uneasy, but speaking with someone while standing on their unmarked grave, as elevated vlogs seem to have done, takes that uneasiness to a whole other level. This Witch is Up to No Good, published by Zona Paranormal Veracruz in December of 2021. This scary video starts with a flash. While well, in this graveyard, the man appears to have happened upon a ritual being performed. A figure is speaking and making this fire come to life. Later, amongst the mausoleums, the man hears that strange voice again in the darkness. <laughs> Followed shortly by a high-pitched sing-song voice. <laughs> The man then falls forward hard, pushed by an unseen force. He sees a ghostly figure from a distance approaching him. And then it's too close for comfort. <laughs> The fire is blazing again, and upon approaching the fading flames, the cameraman sees a witchy woman hunched over departing. Señora, señora, solo vengo a explorar, no vengo a hacer daño. Allá adentro, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro una sombra, allá adentro, allá adentro. What sort of ritual was this witch performing? This cameraman might find out in his days to come. Do you believe in poltergeists? What if you're confronted with video proof? YouTuber Ethan N. Thurrock posted poltergeist activity happening in his office across three videos. In the first video, the office door closes on its own. Some paper towel moves, along with a computer cable followed by a tape dispenser on the desk. Then the computer monitor starts to blink on and off. The timestamp reads 6 9 2015. In the second video in the same room, a toy car moves across the desk to the very edge. The timestamp reads 6 10 2015. It's hard to tell if the last video is in the same room, as it's from a different camera and perspective, but it's filming while someone is in the office. As she's working on her computer, her coffee mug suddenly moves abruptly, spilling some coffee on her desk right next to her electronics. She jumps up to move everything out of the way. If you weren't a believer before, 
You'd be hard to explain this series of events. A boy thinks he's caught a real ghost sighting. He's checking himself out on camera when suddenly a ghost face in the window moves towards him before disappearing back into the night. There's a lot of pixelation around the boy's head, which at first I thought was due to a cheap camera, but then I realized this is probably a green screen. If you look closely, the ghostly figure in the window is wearing a red shirt that's similar to what he's wearing, so it's probably the same person. I think he recorded himself in the window and then superimposed it over this second video to make it seem like a genuine reaction to a real ghost sighting. It's pretty clever and almost fooled me until I took a second look. A YouTuber named Joe Hall takes to the streets in search of the supposedly supernatural, black-eyed ghost children who come out at 3 a.m. This trek eventually turns into a long walk along the railroad tracks in the middle of the night. They are just about to give up when one of them spots a small piece of white fabric flapping in the bushes. Oh my god, what is that thing? We gotta get out of here, man. That thing right there, you see it? Yeah, well, why are we here? Let's though? go, let's like, go. From the shadows comes a person draped in a white gown, just like the legends say. However, I think there's probably a strong chance that this was one of their friends because it pretty much looks and runs like a normal person, in my opinion. It's following them for a while, but then it disappears at exactly 11 minutes and 3 seconds, which is strange, though it could be achieved with some simple editing. They reach their ride a minute later, and shortly before they peel off, this white piece of fabric flaps behind them. Maybe I was wrong about my earlier assumption about this being made up. Unfortunately, we never do get to see its face to tell if the eyes were fully black like the legend says, or not. A person cautiously follows a winding road at night using only the light on their phone to guide them. They sense danger on the right and look over. Nothing is there, but their feeling of being watched does not go away. So they look over again, and that's when they make contact. A short creature with a portly body, atop long legs, does its best to escape the flashlight. At 1 minute and 36 seconds, we see that the overall grey colouring of the creature, when under the light, does match the rest of the background remarkably well. There's no obvious blurring around the edges of the creature either, which indicates that this may in fact be authentic, unedited footage. A YouTuber named Jawguy7 is hanging out at a creek when a mangy lone deer comes wandering up to them. I can't tell for sure, but I think it makes two strange noises that I have never heard come from a deer before. The deer calmly walks past them without any fear and goes to the river but does not drink. Eventually, it turns towards them and gives him a cold, blank stare. There seems to be no life or thought behind its eyes as it holds him in its gaze. Long strands of drool hang from its lips, indicating possible CWD. Obviously, this creature is thirsty, but at the same time, it lacks. The cognitive facilities needed to take a drink, CWD has left it just smart enough to find a water source, yet far too gone to quench its thirst. Hopefully this was reported to Animal Wildlife Control so they could help the deer. An invisible force has taken this man by the scruff of his neck, published in December of 2019. At the beginning of the video, the cameraman and another man off screen are yelling at each other. <laughs> At a distance, a short figure in white appears to be standing in a dark doorway. Its features are indistinguishable. The two continue yelling at each other until the cameraman turns around and starts running away from the figure in the doorway. As he does, the friend who was yelling is captured on camera, holding a flashlight. But suddenly, he is thrown to the ground, and as if a mysterious invisible force is acting upon him, the man is dragged away. The cameraman runs toward him to help, and it appears as if he is thrown to the ground too. Ah! 
Mayhem ensues as they both try to fight it off. They finally manage to break away and they start hurrying off, but the cameraman doesn't get far. He is thrown to the ground and dragged again through the ice and snow. He struggles with the force before being pulled, this time into a room. He manages to escape and run away, and when he turns to look back, there's a small figure in the doorway again. What is this force? Where was it taking him? He'd better leave now or it might just get him this time. This video taken at the North Dallas High School in Texas by a YouTuber named Smart Dolphin captures a very hard to find figure at the end. I've highlighted the possible ghost so that you can see it more easily. This is without a doubt the colorless outline of a human. You can see his feet shift a little bit as he changes his stance if you look closely enough. With this in mind, the question becomes whether or not this person was living when this video was recorded. I guess it wouldn't be too hard to make somebody look all gray like this with some decent editing equipment, but let me know if you think this is a genuine ghost or just a fake. Even ghosts are trying to go to college. Published to YouTube by Philip Potgeiter in March of 2016, this freaky school video was captured at Helpmecker College in Johannesburg, South Africa. The footage shows a phantom figure gliding down the hallway at around 11 at night. It edges towards a wall and merges into what we can assume is a classroom to the right. The figure disappears without further explanation. Is this ghost just heading to its next night class, or does it need help from Helpmecker to cross into the beyond? Rain pouring an abandoned railway house in the middle of nowhere. The scene is set for terror. Published to YouTube in August of 2020, Exploring with Danny follows Danny and Luke wandering through the forest in the stormy darkness. They finally arrive at the abandoned railway house, which looks undoubtedly haunted with the lightning flashing ominously overhead. Once inside, they begin exploring. Everything is torn apart. Windows are boarded up, graffiti on the wall. Danny claims that back in the 1800s, more than 30 people passed away on the railway line outside the house. Those are shoes abandoned on the stairs. They head up to the second floor. In the bedrooms upstairs, there are still clothes hanging on the wardrobe. Danny asks any spirit to make itself known by giving a bang or closing a door. He might regret asking. They head down the hallway and find a strong lock on the door. A piece of the door has been broken clean off. They enter the room and it looks like someone has been living there. A wardrobe stands in the corner. As they look around the room, suddenly the wardrobe is pushed aggressively over, revealing a woman dressed in white. With a pale face and dark hair, hidden in the corner, she starts to approach them. Needless to say, the explorers scream and flee the scene as though their lives depend on it because they do. What's that? Convey that thunder. What's that? What's that noise? I hear something coming from the Probably rats. Ooh! Ah! This video follows a Filipino ghost hunter who's exploring an abandoned hospital solo. At around four minutes in, as he's climbing some stairs, he hears high-pitched shouting. The Redditor who submitted this suggests its scream is that of either a child or a woman. The ghost hunter proceeds to explore the entire floor. All the while, you can hear the screeching in the background. As he nears one end of the floor, traffic is heard roaring out the window. Mm -hmm. 
Once silence has fallen again, the screaming can be distantly heard, and then at 7.15, very clearly and nearer, the sound is terrifying, but we never find the source. What do you think it could be? My best guess is something paranormal. Robert Arbuckle is the name of a man whose spirit is said to still inhabit this restaurant in Florida called Pelican's Alley. Two ghost investigators stand on the other side of the kitchen door where Robert is seen the most. You can see it is empty. There it goes again. Yeah, there it goes. You see it underneath the door? It's mm -hmm. getting darker and darker in that, in that left hand side for some reason. A side profile of a man definitely appears in the doorway, yet when they go inside, the figure is gone. The question is whether or not this was a third friend, or in fact, Robert himself. A scary ghost video from other studios has people wondering what's even real anymore. Normally, I'm hesitant about any channel that has studio or production in the name for obvious reasons, but as one person commented, this video looks compelling. This channel says they have a studio in the name because they produce beats, not ghost videos. Okay, valid reason. Let's look. So his friend Cody has been experiencing some weird activity that he thinks could be paranormal. Creepy stuff like the sink running and flickering lights with no one touching the switch. Cody soon got into the habit of recording video whenever he was in the house, just so he could have some evidence to show his friends to prove he's not a liar. This short clip is one of his most terrifying for sure. He comes back to a trashed kitchen after stepping out to talk to his girlfriend on the phone for 15 minutes. Everyone can see the open cabinets and tilted chair, but only Cody noticed the figure peering at him from the very top of a tall doorway at an impossible angle. He says the resolution is higher on the original video, and this is what the still image looks like without the compression from uploading on YouTube. The difference between the two is so major that I'm almost positive this has to be a photoshop, but if it's real, he should never walk into that room again, or the whole house for that matter. Miss ROCIO4441 published this haunting video in June of 2011, alleging a ghost at the local McDonald's who appeared there at night between 2.30 and 2.50 a.m. In the video, you can certainly see what appears to be a shadow floating around the restaurant. According to the YouTuber, the security camera only turns on when it captures movement. One person in the comments claims to work at this very McDonald's. Ya boy dad 916 said, I work night shifts in this store and I get the creeps all the time. Viewers disputed this video as well though, while some saying it could be a bug on the lens. I don't know though, but watching the shadow move around this footage certainly gives me the creeps. Could it be a past customer or McDonald's employee who passed away at this restaurant? I guess we'll never know. This unnerving doorbell cam footage was taken somewhere in New Mexico. A random person walks up to a house in the middle of the night and just basically goes crazy without warning. They appear to have lost all sense of reason as they first yank on the doorbell cam and then start to scale the wall. It's unclear if they are really trying to gain access to the house itself or if they are just out of their minds and doing whatever spontaneously comes next. After a while, they come back into view and kind of wobble around. This next part sounds like they might have even fallen over, but I'm not exactly sure. Overall, the strange man seems more confused than necessarily looking to cause havoc, but I would still not want to encounter this potential maniac either way. A YouTuber named Mark Grillo catches a complete and total stranger poking around his front porch for no apparent reason. She doesn't even try to knock or anything. Take a look at what she's carrying here and tell me what you think is inside. It almost looks like it could be a cardboard container from a restaurant or something, but I'm not entirely sure. Yeah, 
You can't see in. The woman says twice while trying to peer through a window. Two other people stand at the bottom of the steps waiting for her, and they all walk off together. Exactly what this woman is trying to see is unknown, but it's definitely creepy how she struts around like she owns the place. The group seems to be wearing nice clothes, and I doubt she is trying to break in, especially since her hands are full, which only makes this video all the more bizarre. Overall, I have no idea what these strangers could possibly want, or why they thought this was a socially acceptable thing to do. Mother Nature sometimes digs up monsters. That was the case during the 2011 tsunami in Japan. The scary video is proof that there are plenty of species in our oceans that we haven't yet met. The clip shows floodwaters tearing through the Japanese coast, Well, this is disturbing enough, don't be distracted by all the debris. Instead, look closely at this waterway. What looks to be either translucent vapor or a big spout of water shoots up in the air like a geyser before vanishing like a ghost. Some are saying it is a ghost, while others think it's a propane tank discharging when its regulator was torn off. A few people think it may be marine life with highly effective camouflage skills. Where do you land in this debate? My guess is something paranormal. Here's a video that is either 100% fake or 100% terrifying. A family from the Philippines is going for a joy ride when they spot a pedestrian ahead of them who is scary enough to make them bust out the cameras and start recording. The obvious answer is that this person could have just pulled their shirt over their head as a prank, but look a little closer and you can see that there is a pair of fully developed shoulders that lead up to the neckline, right where the head should be. You can even see sweat stains where the shoulder blades are. Also, more importantly, how would they be able to walk so smoothly like that with a shirt covering both of their eyes? This person definitely has a strong sense of direction. I can't tell if this video is real or not, but a local myth in the Philippines would suggest it is actually real. Apparently, when you live in the Philippines and you see a person who is missing their head, it is a symbol that means they are going to pass away soon. Therefore, a lot of people think that this video is proof that the legend is real. There's a scary haunted tunnel in Pakistan that MMTV wants to go exploring to see what creepy things he can find inside. Exploring a haunted tunnel in the desert at night by yourself, what can go wrong? Apparently, a lot. ये देखिए ये सारा वीराना है और दूर पहाड़ हैं आबादी से बहुत दूर हूँ मैं ये क्या हो रहा है स्टार्ट में ही या अल्लाह ख़ैर a sparkling cloud of mist lingers around him. Spirits he suspects. First it travels in one direction, disappears and comes back to guide him towards the tunnel. और जो चीज़ भी है ये देखिए अब ये देखिए मैं एक जगह पे खड़ा हुआ मैं बिल्कुल अपनी That's really weird but some downright scary things are caught on camera when he goes to the entrance like this red stain on the ground that shapes the outline of a person लंबी आ रही है मैं एक जगह पे रुका हूँ मसल्सल को ये सर सराड़ है Strange, unexplained lights give him pause, and you can say whatever you want about this freakishly deep laughter. Okay, oh, ya Allah, oh, ye, ye tire ja rahe. It's not the wind. The wind doesn't blow tires. He gets out of there fast, not wanting to face whatever is haunting this strange place. And when he takes one last glance at the entrance, he spies movement from above. Something wants to follow him home. After all of these scary moments, I would say yes, this tunnel is haunted. If you think you're safe in your own home, think again. 
posted by Call Me Ace here to the Chills Narrator subreddit. The Redditor explains, This is a video of a random guy walking up to my brother's home in Houston, Texas. The stranger flashed their flashlight through my brother's front door window and camera. The video shows a man possibly casing the place. If that is what he's doing, he isn't taking many precautions, as he's not wearing a mask of any kind to hide his identity, nor does he take any notice at first of the security camera that's caught him red-handed. If he was trying to fly under the radar, he's doing a terrible job at it. Not only does he flash a flashlight directly into the potential target's home, but he looks squarely into the security camera, capturing his headshot straight on. Right before shining the flashlight into the camera's face too, Redditor Stark Burrito asks, Was he pointing the flashlight into the camera to obscure himself? Bit late, buddy. Other Redditors recommended that the homeowner alert other neighbors to the incident, as well as the neighborhood watch and local authorities, and might prevent the unknown person from taking this further. While you may not have to worry about those you know entering into your home, you should definitely worry about randos. <laughs> A weird security video from southeastern Nigeria has been freaking people out since October of 2019. Animals seem to disappear in this haunted alleyway, and then it happens to someone who they've long suspected of being a witch. <laughs> I think these security guards were bored and playing a joke. Notice how the yellow playback bar suddenly skips ahead whenever something disappears. It's pretty obvious that some editing has occurred. So my final analysis is no, this video is not real. What do you think though? Fear Hides Here, published to YouTube in July of 2021, this investigative team encountered something sinister. While investigating in broad daylight, the crew only just enters the creepy abandoned house when a scary loud racket is heard. <laughs> Something is thrown against the wall in another room and sounds like it breaks apart. In one room, the investigators break out an EMF sensor, which starts beeping dramatically when it's held up toward one part of the ceiling. One of the crew boosts another up to the crawl space in the ceiling to see what's triggering the device. It looks like the crawl space was being lived in at one point, as a pair of shoes and a book or pamphlet is up there amongst the suit and garbage. As they realize the book is a diary, banging is heard in the next room. Something is opening and closing the door. <laughs> It looks like the hidden figure doesn't want that diary to be read. The cameraman checks outside, but there's nothing. A short while later, another bang is heard, and that's when the diary spontaneously combusts. Cameraman is holding the diary when a corner of the paper catches fire. He throws it to the ground in surprise. When he picks it back up, a glass breaks in the next room. Causing him to throw it down again. When they gain the courage to pick it up again, another bang is heard, although its source remains unseen. Tinha um Lucy, te adoro por aqui. Então não sei. Oh, que, 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 que,
They enter another room, clearly afraid of what's going on around them and the entity that they've made angry. Later, they are simply standing in a room capturing video when a fire lights beneath one crew member's feet unbeknownst to him. Another runs towards him and pulls him away, and the fire goes out on its own. For the grand finale, they enter the main room, and one of the crew appears to see something in a gap in the roof. A scary shadow leaves the gap as something breaks, causing the crew to vacate the premises ASAP. Caraca, fei. Mano, vamos, 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 what was in that diary? Something incriminating? We'll never know because the spirit doesn't want us to. Thank you so much for getting me to 50,000 subscribers here on my Clips channel. If you want to support, please press that subscribe button. Let's get to 60,000 subscribers next. Thank you.